want to see me, uh, you can see me on the YouTube Live. Check it out. If you guys on YouTube Live, uh, let's get this camera around. Uh, you can see both me on the small screen. Hey, what's up? And you can see the game. Not, it, not just the game, but you can see the entire game screen instead of part of it. So uh, you can check out the YouTube Live, you can see everything better. But you can check out both at the same time, that'd be amazing. Started. Oh, Wonder Cosplay, he says, I have to fight you later. Alright, still working on, on that one Pokemon that I'm babysitting and raising. So, that one probably isn't ready for the tournament. It will be ready Thursday. Power of One Guard Wolf. Alright, here we go. Goodbye, Wonder Cosplay. We'll see you later. Charlie is gay. No cap. You're like, remember me? Yeah, I remember you. I, I literally just saw you like days ago. <laughs> oh my my volume is loud. My volume is loud. Oh, on the switch. Alright, maybe that's better. Yeah, help me out with the volume balancing guys. Let me take a look, uh, what looks over here. Oh, video capture device volume is high. I should bring that one down a bit. It was going into the, um, the red zone there. Alright, there we go. That is better, right? I think, I think I fixed it. Is that better, Austin? Okay, cool, guys. Like I said, if you want to see me, uh, you can always log on to youtube.com. If you put in the search function, Professor, Space, Evergreen, Space, Pokemon, those three words and you'll find me. I have a, uh, a symbol that's circular and it looks like a, a, a pink tree, a cherry blossom tree. Alright, first battle. I'm going to put in the link code. This is a first come first serve basis here. So it's first come first serve, although each person only gets one battle with me for this. The first code is going to be 0852. 0852. Single battle. Let's go. Don't forget the rules. It's going to be battle tower rules. All right. Always let me pick. Um, also, uh, no legendaries, no mythicals. Uh, Ultra Beasts are allowed. Uh, Dynamax, Gigantamax are allowed. Uh, so basically, you know. You get three Pokemon, level 50, no legendary, no mythical. Alright, looks like I found somebody, and it's Lane! As you know, this is someone on TikTok. You have a question? Uh, what's your question? Uh, ooh, just a couple of Joe says, Hi, I'm back. I like your PFP. Okay, here we go. The first person I'm fighting against will be someone on Tickety Tockety. And guys, if you don't have, some people only have this one and these three, and they're missing this rule set. If you're fighting somebody that doesn't, uh, if you're fighting somebody and you don't have the rule set, let them pick the rules. That way, um, they can choose it because they probably have it. The way to get this rule set is to go to the Battle Tower, go to Rose Tower after you beat the game. If you haven't beat the game. Um, have fun beating the game, take your time, but definitely check that out at the end. Alright, here we go. Check my participating team. Alright, the very first battle. You know what, I should go and grab a paper and pencil so I can write down people. Alright, so this first battle is with someone on TikTok. Alright, otherwise known as Lane here in the Pokemon world. I'm going to choose my first Pokemon here, but I'm not going to show it on TikTok. If you're watching on someone, if you're watching on, um, what is it? If you're watching on YouTube, then there's nothing I can do to hide it from you. You can definitely see what I'm picking. 
Uh, so let's see. Uh, first, I'm going to pick. First, to see what they have. They have a fire type, a ground dragon, a fairy ghost, a steel ghost. Uh, a lot of ghosts. Uh, oh, fighting type here. Uh, so ooh, I was going to start with a different strategy, but I'm going to go with this one now instead. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. that last one stay? Yeah, he'll stay. Alright, I'm a little bit nervous about the choices that I made here, because uh, I'm not used to these Pokemon that I'm fighting. Ooh, you see you're not watching YouTube for extra spice. Yeah, you, I, I am giving away all my strategies on YouTube, so if you're on YouTube, you can see everything that I'm doing, uh, especially on a high screen. Uh, but someone on TikTok decided not to take a look. Alright, looks like he's pulling out Guard Top first. And I have got Dragapult! Okay. Oh, he's pulling away Dragapult. Ooh, taking out. I guess it's gonna come down to speed here. Just like that. Maybe I made a mistake by Dynamaxing so soon. Whatever happened to my first attack? Did it hit, or what happened? I wasn't paying attention. You guys see what happened to my first attack? The uh, Draco Meteor. Did nothing. Did, did just nothing happen? All right. I was actually. I was actually the most afraid of the Mimikyu. Oh, it didn't affect it? Oh, thank you for telling me. It's super effective, but my special attack took a hit. And big boy, using max worm wind. That's gonna knock out Dragapult for sure. And Dragapult goes down. Alright, here comes Mimikyu. You got your Mimikyu and I've got mine. Alright, I'm opting the Swords Dance because that's what you do with Mimikyu. You have the Swords Dance first and that increases your attack sharply, which is the highest kind of increase you can get for an attack. 
Okay, here comes Math Max Quake doing zero damage to my health, and I'll show you my health bar here. Did not damage me at all. I didn't see a health bar, but you'll see it in a second. There it is. Oh, actually, I got hurt a little bit because I'm holding a life orb. Uh, and if you hold the life orb, uh, it takes a little bit of health from you, but it makes your attacks even more damage. So I'm going to go ahead and fight here. Uh, I want to go first. I feel like going first would be important, but I uh, should I take the risk? Yes, I'm taking, I'm taking the risk. I'm going first. Hopefully it does KO damage. If it doesn't, I'm in big trouble. I'm in big trouble. I should have used play rough and, and hope that I went first. It's gonna use max quake and it's gonna knock me out. If I had only used play rough, I would have won. I made a big mistake there, and it's gonna cost. It may have cost me the whole battle. Charizard using Air Slash, taking care of Big Boy. Alright, we're both down to our last Pokemon. I could have won this entire battle if I had just used the right move. I'd play rough, and I was, I'm pretty sure I was faster. I should have done it. I don't know why I tried playing it so safe with a weak move. Alright, Charizard using Air Slash. Doing minimal damage. But it caused the other Pokemon not to be able to move. Focus Blast. Let's see if I can knock in this Focus Blast. If I can hit him with this. Charizard using Focus Blast. And it lands! It only has a 70% accuracy, but does 120 damage. Arcanine surviving the hit. Ooh! Hitting with that wild charge, it's super effective, but the recoil! And that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the battle. Came down to the last Pokemon for each of us. Uh, GG's in the chat. Good game, Lane. Good game, someone on TikTok. That was amazing. You've improved so much. I'm definitely taking your lead card. Um, all right. So that was someone on TikTok. Uh, would you like to cancel the battle? Yes. Good game. That was close. Your Garchomp took me by surprise with how strong it was. You must be taking really good care of that Garchomp. I bet you go out camping with that Garchomp. Alright, so next, um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and put in the code here for a Link battle. So the code this time around is going to be 2580. 2580. All right. I'm putting in the code. Let's see who gets it first. And who will be the second contender to try and get that shortcut. And I'm not going easy. I'm trying my absolute hardest here. And even I'm capable of making mistakes. You saw me make a big mistake there in that battle. And it almost cost me the entire thing. That Garchomp is so strong. Thank goodness my uh, Charizard came out. All right, next I am fighting Austin. Who is Austin? Just to be sure, I'm pretty sure I know who it is, but just in case. Who did I get? Oh, okay. There you go. Austin Carlson. Nice. What's your name on TikTok? Forget. Oh, yeah. Just a cup of Joe. You think you broke it? What? What does that mean? You said, why do people cancel when they don't get in with you? 
Okay, here we go. It's um, Daisy Evergreen versus Austin Carlson here. The professor takes on a second Pokemon trainer. Let's see what happens here. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's Pikachu Man 64. I was like, I recognize this name, but what's the other name? Austin is Pikachu Man. I was like, Pikachu Man, is it you? Yes, it is you. All right. Hey, Peyton, what's up? Peyton, have you sent me your mailing information yet? Because I don't think I got it. Get your prize. Send me uh, send me an email. Shoot me an email. You don't have to use Discord. Alright, I'm waiting for Pikachu, man, to hit the button. Your battle team got messed up? Alright. If your battle team got messed up, that's fine. Um, just fix your battle team. And if you don't know how to fix your battle team, go back to that screen where you're selecting. You can register and fix it right there. Alright, get ready. The next battle link code is going to be... And don't worry, I'll get you all. I'll, I'll fight you all. 159. 159. One, five. All right. If your team is messed up, that's fine. Just fix your team and then keep trying to get back in and we'll battle each other eventually. It's one, five, nine, one, five, nine, one, five. Austin, if you can get it fast enough. If not, let's see who I got. Kelly on the sticks. Don't worry, don't worry, Austin. I ain't going anywhere. I ain't finishing this thing without you, so. Okay, here we go. All right, looks like Kelly has chosen the team, Daisy has chosen the team, and the battle will begin. Now, I won't be showing you which Pokemon I'm choosing on TikTok, but if you check on YouTube, you'll definitely be able to see which Pokemon I have chosen first, second, and third. Looks like we're dealing with a Steel type. We're dealing, we're dealing with a Poison type. Um, hmm. A lot of interesting options here, so I think what I'm going to do All right, I've made my selections and the battle will begin. Here you can see what both choices, uh, both teams are. Before you choose your team, it's always good to look at what your opponent has first so that you can counter pick. I noticed she had a Venusaur, a Dragapult, a Charizard, a Steelix, a Toxapex, and that, uh, I think it's a Cutie Fly. Oh, Splatrompa, you said, Professor, please fight me. I haven't fought you. Well, I've only fought one person so far, so, you know, just hang tight and don't worry. I'll fight you all eventually. I can only fight one of you at a time, right? Here's another big thing. Um, this might help you, Kelly, on the sticks in the future. Uh, you see how each one of my Pokemon has an item? It's holding an item? I don't think any of your Pokemon are holding any items. Um, items can do a lot for you in battle. 
So uh, try and figure out which items are the best for your Pokemon to hold and have them hold those items. I promise you it'll make them a lot more efficient in many different ways. So if, you're not, if, you're, if your team has, doesn't have any Pokemon holding items, figure out some items. Some items can make fire type moves stronger. Some items can make, you know, grass type moves stronger. You know, items can do a lot of good things. Like, for example, my Toxapex has Black Sludge. Um, if you're a poison type Pokemon, it heals you a little bit after each uh, turn. That's huge. It's a healing. It's basically auto. It's like it's like regen. It's auto heal. Uh oh. Looks like Kelly and the Six got a hold of a Gigantamax shiny Charizard. Throwing out toxic spikes. Restored a little bit of my health with the um, black sludge that I told you about. Next, I'm going to use Baneful Bunker. Baneful Bunker is basically a... Um, man, look how ripped Charizard is. It's, it's basically a move that's like protect, except that if you touch me, you get poison. Alright, Charizard using Max Strike. Toxapex's speed takes a hit. Toxapex restores some health with Black Sludge there. And now, watch the power of Pokemon. Look at Toxapex's health after tanking three Dynamax moves. Those are three Dynamax moves. Look at Toxapex's health. Bottom left. Toxapex, use Recover. And Black Sludge. Full health, baby. Let's go. All right, Tarzar gets poisoned. Charizard, getting poison, taking poison damage. Toxapex completely unfazed by that attack. Now that Toxapex is poisoned, I'm going to use a move called Venoshock. Venoshock does, uh, I think, four times more damage if the person you're fighting or the Pokemon you're fighting is poisoned. Alright, Toxapex getting hit with Earthquake, doing some damage there. Venoshock, rebuttal with Poison. Charizard taking some damage there. Toxapex recovering with the Black Sludge. And Tar Charizard taking some poison damage. Toxapex, Venoshock again. Ooh, getting hit with Body Slam. Toxapex using Venoshock. Charizard in the yellow. Toxapex restoring itself with uh, Black Sludge. Charizard taking some poison damage. The battle was canceled. It looks like Kelly on the Sticks forfeited the match. It's all right, Kelly on the sticks. But you know the rules, right? If somebody like, if, if for some reason somebody else cancels the battle, that means that they have forfeited the match.
Kelly, I love that uh, th uh, that Charizard you've got. Maybe I can help you get that Charizard even better. All right, so. Good game. But yeah, I love that Charizard. That Charizard was so cool. In fact, it's 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 my it's one of my favorite Gigantamaxes in the game. Just because it's so crazy looking. You want me to tell you my Toxapex? <laughs> that Toxapex is crazy though, right? Comes in handy when you just want to need it. All right, get ready for the next. I'll show you the Toxapex stuff in a minute, but first. Let's go ahead and do the link battle. The next code, good game, Kelly on the sticks. You fought valiantly. Uh, don't worry, this is just a bonus match. So don't feel bad if you lose or if you get disconnected or anything like that. It's just a bonus match. All right, so three, five, seven, three, five, seven, three, five. Kelly said you're gonna, th you're gonna play Xbox right now? All right, that's fine, Kelly. Um, after I'm done with all this, we're probably gonna play Smash or something like that, or Animal Crossing or something like that. So maybe you can hang out with us in the in the after games. So um, I'm not sure what the after games are gonna be, but um, I got a strong feeling we're gonna be playing Super Smash Brothers or Animal Crossing. Did anyone do the Festival stuff yesterday with the Animal Crossing? How do you get to the battle tower? It's at the very top of the map. So open up your map and go to the very top and you'll see a tower. It's like a, it's called Rose Tower. I managed to actually beat Rose Tower before I beat the game. So you are able to access it uh, before finishing the game. All right, guys. Blaine Big C versus the Professor right here. Last time we battled, I took the W. So let's see what happens this time. I see there's a flying a flying fairy type. We got a Dracovich there, a uh, Cinderace, a uh, Tyranitar, a uh, Water Ice type, and then uh, a Gengar. Interesting options that you have chosen. I will choose All right, I've made my selections. Here we go. Now I'm, I'm kind of like worried. I'm always worried. I know B Blaine Big C is actually really good. Um, these battles are just so crazy, you know. The more you fill out your Pokedex, the easier these battles get, though, because um, the more Pokedex entries you have, the more you'll, you'll be able to see. Uh, you, you'll be able to see stuff like super effective or whatever on your um, options. If you don't have that, like you see on the right here where it, it tells me like what's super effective and what's effective and what's not very effective, you only get that with Pokedex information. You don't just get that. All right, we're starting off pretty much the same way as we did last time. Ooh, except we're getting a swap out here. It's Togekiss. This is not good. He's got a uh, Fairy-type Pokemon against my Dragon. And I Dynamax, thinking I was going to be fighting uh, Dracovich. That was a good swap out. Last time we fought, he didn't swap, swap out Dracovich, and Dracovich got one-shotted.
Uh oh, Togekiss using Max Starfall. And that's a one hit KO against Hydreigon. I got a feeling I should not have used the same tactics I did last time. There goes my Gigantum or my Dynamax, and there goes my Hydreigon. Already, I am I am falling behind in this battle. All right, here comes Mimikyu. Starting off with Swords Dance. And Togekiss using Max Airstream. Not damaging Mimikyu at all. Alright, so here comes the next move. Get ready. I'm swapping out. I'm protecting my Mimikyu. Dragapult, go. Hopefully there's no fairy type move used here. And it's Max Flare. Alright, Dragapult using Thunderbolt. It's super effective. Togekiss with Dazzling Gleam. And Dragapult goes down. Alright, it comes down to speed here, I believe. And Togekiss actually is faster than the Mimikyu. Mimikyu using Play Rough. That's gonna knock out Togekiss. And Mimikyu down to 2 HP. Mimikyu has 2 HP left. This could be it. Alright, this Pokemon has a nickname, it's Liberalo! Mimikyu going in for the Shadow Sneak. Doing decent damage, but not enough. And that's it, Mimikyu knocks itself out with the Life Orb. And the winner is Blaine Big C, the first one to make it to the semifinals with the Professor Challenge in the fourth Evergreen Cup. Good game, Blaine. All right. Good job, Blaine. GG's, buddy. You're in the semifinals. I got really messed up in the beginning there. I definitely did not choose the right typing, uh, but that happens, you know, like sometimes your enemy just has the exact perfect, you know, counters to what you have. No, that just happens. It's all about typing, type, type battling, right? All right, so the next code is going to be, get ready. Wait, Henry, it's not time, buddy. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. How lucha. I don't know if I told you about my friend Toshi, who works for Pokemon. He his his job is to make sure people pronounce the names correctly. His favorite Pokemon is Howlucha. So that's why I just thought about him. Run! Alright, so if you don't know where the battle tower is, I'll show you real quick. On the map, go to the very, very top, and you'll see this thing. This is the battle tower. If you don't know the code I put in, it was 1237891212, and here is somebody. Let's see who it is. And it's Aaron. Who's Aaron in the chat? Oh, you're shiny hunting Avro? Nice. It's a me! Maybe I should change up my competitive team so you guys don't know what I'm picking anymore. Or like, I'll have like a, a completely alternate team that's way different from the current teams that I use. Alright, time to select the participating Pokemon. Alright, I chose a weird team this time. I'm doing a little experimentation now. Uh, I did notice you only chose three Pokemon, which means I know which three you're picking. So, for example, um, if you had three other Pokemon here, I'd have a tough a tough time counterpicking. But since you only have three, I have an easy time counterpicking, because I know you're going to pick these two fire types in the steel. Also, you're not using any items. I suggest using items... You can see every one of my Pokemon are holding some kind of item that's useful for it in battle. Alright, let's go. But don't worry, this is you're not fighting like somebody else in a competition, you're just fighting the professor. I'm helping you get better. Oh, can I friend you? Uh, yeah, I'll friend you guys. Ooh! Oh, you like you have items? Oh, you have items? Look at that style, though. I'm taking a screenshot. Where's my screenshot button? No! I take a capture of a of a blank screen. I like that style. You want to friend me in Pokemon Go? That's fine. I'm currently trying to capture Latias and Latios in Pokemon Go. Hey, David Alarco, what's up? I see you here on the YouTube live. What's poppin'? Nothing much, just watching. Oh yeah, I think it's screenshot. When you beat me, I know, right?
Oh, it did have an item. It had leftovers. I wonder why it doesn't let me see their items. My opponent's items. I thought it did. It's weird. You're hunting in Let's Go, Pokemon Let's Go? Can you send shinies from Pokemon Let's Go to Pokemon Home and then to um, Pokemon Sword and Shield? Because it's easy to get po the shinies in Pokemon Let's Go. Literally everybody has one of these now. A shiny Gigantamax Charizard. Attack fell. Throwing out some toxic spikes there. Eating some black sludge. By the way, if you give a Pokemon holding, if, if you make a Pokemon hold black sludge and they're not a poison type, then they get poison holding it. So if there's a Pokemon that steals another Pokemon's held item and it steals your black sludge, they just get poison. I think Meowth has that ability. Using Dragon's Breath. Toxapex with Recover. Tanking all those Dynamax hits back to full health as if nothing ever happened. Using Baneful Bunker. Hoping for a physical attack here. Nope. And it's Dragon's Breath again. Gonna train, uh, change things up a little bit. Hit him with the Vino Shock. Take some damage off of him. Dragon's Breath again. Mmm! It paralyzed me. I forgot that Dragon's Breath can paralyze.
I'm using recover to get my health back. Attacking again with uh, Vino Shock. How many Dragon's Breath can Charizard do? <laughs> what am I eating? I'm actually eating um, Oreos right now. Ooh, Air Slash did a lot of damage. Charizard just poisoned himself by touching me. He didn't. I thought is Air Slash a special move? I thought Air Slash was a um, it was a different kind of move. What the heck? I thought it was a physical move. Why isn't he poisoned? He's supposed to be poisoned. All right, using recover here. Hitting him with that Vino Shock. One more Vino Shock and he's he's down for the count. He's out. Hmm. Hit me with Air Slash again. But I'm gonna hit recover. Yeah, I'm eating Oreos. So somebody kept asking me for Lusamine and the uh, Ultra Beasts. Lusamine is the mother of Lily, and um, she's really crazy. And like uh, she was taking care of that one Ultra Beast, acting like it was like her child. Somebody asked me to do um, a video of her and the Ultra Beasts. So what I did instead was her when she fused with. Um, Nihilo, Nihilego, whatever his name is, Nihilego, that one um, Ultra Beast when she fuses with it, yeah, so I, I made the video of that, so if you want to check it out, I did do the video. Alright, Charizard goes down finally, man, that was like the longest battle ever. Galar champion. Let's try this, see what happens. 
No, a toxic effect is paralyzed. It can't move. Uh oh. It used Brave Bird. Toxic Pex is paralyzed. There we go. Toxapex uses Baneful Bunker. Protected itself. The opposing enemy uses Brave Bird again. Toxapex protected itself. Heals a little bit. I think that might finish off my Toxapex. Let's see. And Toxapex goes down. My shiny Dragapult. Let's hit him with that Fire Blast. Dragapult, Fire Blast. And that's going to do it. This was a very long battle. The reason I didn't take out Dragapult because I was afraid of that Dragon's Breath. And I knew that if the one Dragon's Breath hit my Dragapult, Dragapult would have gotten knocked out. Oh, I took a screenshot. I made it. I took, I took the screen capture at the end. Good game, Polar Turtle. Super close. Super close battle. Alright, let's see who's next. Oh, you have the Japanese Lily in good condition? That's awesome. So yeah, the latest Flash video was um, Lily's mother, Lusamine, when she's fused with... Uh, Nihiligo. Uh, get ready. You said I'm a run? Alright. Professor, do you have Drampa? I do have Drampa. I like Drampa. I have a complete Pokedex. Um, at least with the first part of the regular Gala region, not the DLC. Alright, the next code is going to be 456. 456. 45. 456. 456. 45. Let's see who I am battling next. Congratulations to Big, uh, to Blaine, Big C, for making it to the semifinals. If you want to battle me, you just got to put the code in 456, 456, 45. Oh, Potato Ostrich. Hey, what's up? I can't find it. I beg of you. Like, like, what are you asking? Oh, you need help getting Drampa? Yeah, I can help you, Potato Ostrich. I'll help you get Drampa. By the way, Potato Ostrich. You're in Canada, and I sent your thing to Canada, your thing today. Uh, let's see, beside myself. Oh, okay, this is CXX Tryon. This is uh, Trenton. You got really far, Polar Turtle. You're getting better and better. You know, as I'm seeing you guys battle, I'm seeing you guys also improve. I'm seeing I'm seeing everybody get like leveling up their skills and playing this game. All right, I'm gonna hide the screen. Polar Turtle, good game. You're actually super good at this game. Good job. All right. Uh... Can anyone tell me how much time is left in the Valentine's Day event for Pokemon Go? Um. Okay, we got a fire type, a fire type, a ground dragon. Yeah, if you guys, if you guys want to friend me on Switch, go for it. The more the merrier. Alright, this time I'm picking a no shenanigans team. This is my no shenanigans team with like no special tricks, no super secret strategies or anything like that. It's literally just pure power. Speed and power. That's what I'm going for in this, uh, this right here.
Yeah, if anybody wants to become friends, uh, switch friends with me, go ahead and send me a friend request. If you want, I'll show you my um, friend code in a bit. I'm Duff Professor on the Nintendo Switch. Alright, Dragapult using Draco Meteor. And that is a one hit KO right there for buff. Dragapult special attack harshly falls due to using that attack. Oh, you were joining because the chat wasn't showing up? Well, that's weird. Okay, let's see. Alright, this is the one I was worried about, was the Garchomp, so hopefully I can one-shot this Garchomp and take care of it. Although, usually Garchomps are a little tanky. They can usually take at least one, I think. He might either be one and done. I think if he Dynamaxes, though, I won't be able to one-shot him, I don't think. Is he gonna Dynamax? Yup, and he's gonna Dynamax. Alright, I kinda knew he was gonna do that. He does have a dragon type move that could do a lot of damage to me. So now it really just comes down to speed. Which Pokemon has a higher speed stat when boosted? Let's find out. And the Pokemon with the higher speed stat is going to be Dragapult. Which makes sense. Dragapult looks more aerodynamic, I guess. Oh, and it doesn't do that much damage. Man, it's super effective, but boy, did it not deliver. Uh oh, max worm, max worm win against my Pokemon. And it took away half my life bar. It did way more damage. Hmm. All I can really do is another max worm win. He's gonna knock me out. Brought him down to yellow. But unless his attack misses or something, like, I'm gonna I'm about to be knocked out here. That Garchomp it has a really high special attack stat, I believe. They're super effective. Dragapult goes down. Thanks for your service, Dragapult. You fought you fought with all you had. That's all I asked of you. All right, Hydreigon, let's go. Now, I took a risk taking Hydreigon out, knowing that uh, my opponent does have a Dragon-type move. However, I'm hoping my Hydreigon is faster. It's not faster, and it's gonna get hit by this attack right here. Moving it down to the yellow. That's not good. It's actually extremely bad. Hydreigon's attack falls, and hitting him with the Dragon Pulse. That's gonna knock out his Garchomp here. All right, looks like uh, my opponent has, I believe, one more Pokemon left. Spirit, Spirit Bomb. So I'm going to use, um, let's see what the effects are of this. Can make the target flinch. 80, 90, 85. I'm gonna use Dark Pulse, hoping that I make the, my opponent flinch. If he flinches, that's good because he loses that turn. Will he flinch? Nope, he uses Hypnosis. Oh no. Hydrogen fell asleep. Hydrogen, wake up. Hydrogen, now is not the time to be falling asleep. Hydrogen, wake up and fight. Hydrogen is sleeping right now. Why? Hydrogen, you're going to wake up. Wake up, Hydrogen. The, the, the Shadow Ball is coming. Hydrogen. Hydrogen, wake up! It's gonna hit you again! Hydrogen is still sleeping! No! Hydrogen! Wake up, Hydrogen! 
Oh no. Watch out! Hydrogen, get back in the Pokeball. <laughs> you said Sleep Talk would be useful right about now. I know, right? Alright, Charizard. Now, if I can tell you one thing that's special about my Charizard is that it's fast. Super fast. Which means I go first. Is that gonna do it? I think it does. And there it is! That is the game! Good game! Amazing fight there, Trenton. So it's CXX trying. Alright, good game. I like how you put my Pokemon to sleep and knocked it out. That was very good strategy there. Alright, before I do the next battle, I'm going to check on my cats and make sure they're not dying because it looks like they want me to go feed them. So I'm going to go feed my cats real quick. I'll be right back for the next battle. I'm going to feed the cats. Alright, I'm back. Alright, get ready for the next code. The next code is going to be... 369, 369, 369, 369, 369, 369. Let's see who shows up next in this vital. Excuse me, moi. Uh, we're only doing one fight, um, the professor for each person. So this is like, not even like the real tournament. This is more of like a bonus round where you can take a shortcut to the top. So if you don't win here, that's fine. It just means you didn't win the bonus round. It's really hard to win, I guess, because not that many people win. I fought against um, someone on TikTok, Kelly, Blaine, Pur uh, Polar Turtle, and CXX Tryon. Oh, we've got somebody here. It looks like it's David Larka. All right. So, uh, let the battle begin. Uh, but if you stay, but stay tuned, because we're going to have an after game, and we're going to play something after we're done with this. Um, I will do one thing, guys. If, if everything freezes for a second, it's because I'm checking Pokemon Go, so just one second.
All right. Sorry about that, everybody. I had to check book. I'm still here. Hey guys, I'm still here. I just had to check Pokemon Go real quick. I wanted to see how long I had. Uh... Hey guys, what's up? We're still here. I just wanted to uh, check Pokemon Go. I want to see how much longer I had in the Valentine's Day event. It looks like I have over two days left, so I can relax. I was worried. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's find out what happens here. I'm going to go ahead and Dynamax my Pokemon here. Don't worry, Pika plays. You'll get in. Everybody's been trying to. Everybody's been trying to fight me. But eventually, everyone will get their turn. Um, ooh, hit me with Shadow Ball. It's not very effective. Hydrogen coming back with the Max Darkness. Gengar getting one hit KO'd. This is with David Alarco. All right, now we have Dragonite. Going with Max Wormwind, do the maximum amount of damage here. Hopefully I can do another one hit KO, let's find out. And Dragonite, one hit KO. Using type advantages here, like I said, if you fill out your Pokedex, uh, it'll tell you what the type advantages are. It'll help you out a lot. Galar Champion. It seems like everybody has Galar Champion. This has to like this has to be like a clone Pokemon. Here we go. Is it why is yours like 15 seconds forward than yours? I don't know. Um, I don't know. That's just how it all works out somehow. Ooh, very nice. Doing massive damage here to my Hydreigon, but it's not very effective. Hydreigon with the max warm wind. Alright, going for a Dragon Pulse. Alright, opponent is using the G-Max Fireball here. Hurting my Hydreigon, bringing it down to the yellow. But it's not very effective. Hydreigon with the Dragon Pulse, bringing Ace down to yellow. Going with Dragon Pulse one more time. Three time third time's the charm here. G-Max Fireball. An amazingly powerful move. But it's not that very effective against drag against um, my Pokemon. Uh oh, Pyro Ball. Very fast move here. I don't know if Pyro Ball gets um, a plus one on speed. You guys want to know a secret? That that move that um, Cinderace was using, the uh, G Max uh, Fireball, it can ignore the decoy of Mimikyu. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let myself get hit, because it's not gonna hurt my de not gonna hurt my Pokemon, just a decoy. Oh no, you'll be back later. All right, Sapphire Chaos. Alright, Mimikyu runs in to play rough. And I think that's gonna do it. That was a great battle. Good job. You got a lot of great Pokemon there. I'd say your best one was that Cinderace. And that was David Ilarka. Good game, David Ilarka. I'll take your lead card. Thank you. Alright, get ready for the next code. We're gonna try and bust through as many of these as we can, as fast as we can. 
The next code is going to be... 147... One four, yeah, one four seven, and then one four. So one four seven, one four seven, one four. All right. If you've already battled me, uh, please do not enter in the code. If you've not battled me yet and you want to try and take the shortcut bonus round to the semifinals, go ahead and challenge me. Let's see who's next. It's Pika Plays versus Daisy Evergreen, Professor Evergreen. Alright, here we go. Alright, I've chosen my Pokemon and my strategy based on what Pokemon I see that he has. We've got a Gengar, Tyranitar, Nidoking, Blaziken, um, I forgot what the hell is, and Scizor. Uh, and then that Mud Water guy at the bottom. So let's see what happens. Uh, okay, I am going to be on, uh, but I'm going to play Animal Crossing. Oh, okay, that's fine, David Alarka. Yeah, keep playing Animal Crossing. You've got a long way to go with your town. I did like visiting your island, and I'll visit again sometime. Keep on building that island. All right, it's Daisy versus Pika plays. Let's go. All right, starter Pokemon have been decided here. Alright, Mimikyu with the Swords Dance. Milkshake 2.0 using Earthquake. Mimikyu's Disguise taking a hit. Ooh, Milkshake 2.0 using Protect. Mimikyu, come back. Hydrogen, show me what you got. All right, using Iron Tail. All right, let's go Dynamax. You wanna play Animal Crossing for the after game? That'd be cool. I was just playing a lot of Animal Crossing yesterday. I know I already mentioned this, but best of all happened. Anybody collect a lot of feathers for best of all? Anybody get those three rainbow feathers to get that uh, float at the end? Milkshake, Milkshake 2.0 goes down. And out comes Tyranitar with Tyranitar's Sandstream.
And there it is, Hydrogen using Max Steel Spike. That's gonna do massive damage to Tyranitar, now in the yellow. It's super effective. Hydrogen's Levitate, does no damage. Whatever move uh, Tyranitar tried to use, it did not work because of Hydrogen's Levitate. It's an ability that makes it so that move, moves like Earthquake don't do any damage to it. Alright, does massive damage and Hydrogen's defense rises again. Hydrogen's defense has risen twice now. It's boosting its own stats. Have I ever played, have I ever played a Nuzlocke? I have not. I know it takes a lot of time and dedication. If anyone's wondering what a Nuzlocke is, it's basically the first six Pokemon you get are the six Pokemon you have to use for the rest of the game. You can only use those six Pokemon. Uh oh. Here it comes. I'm gonna guess this is a Gigantamax? It is. Oh, that's such a crazy looking Gigantamax Pokemon. It's a Gengar coming out of the earth. You can't even see the rest of its body. Oh, hitting me up with that Max Starfall. That is going to KO my Hydrogen. That's such a cool Pokemon, the Gigantamax uh, Gengar. I think it just looks hungry. Alright, Toxapex using Baneful Bunker. Gengar using Max Mindstorm. It's super effective. I used Protect, but I still got hurt. However, that Protect did block a lot of the damage. The battlefield got weird. And Gengar gets hit. Toxapex gets hit. Gengar recovers some health. With the Black Sludge. Gengar is using Black Sludge. Wow, that's smart. And there it is. This time I'm taking the full brunt of the attack. It's super effective. Toxapex using Recover. I'm in the red here, so I'm going to have to restore some health. There we go. Restore some health there. The, stamps, the sandstorm has subsided, which is good. We're both recovering a little bit with our black sludge. We each have some black sludge here. Alright, Toxapex using Baneful Bunker. It protected itself. Gengar using Poltergeist. Toxapex buying some time protecting itself. Gengar with Poltergeist. Gengar getting hit slightly with, uh, it's not very effective. And he gets healed right back with the Black Sludge. This is a very powerful Gengar I'm fighting here. Gengar using Psychic. It's super effective. Toxapex using Recover. Alright, back in the green. Battlefield is no longer weird. The opposing Gengar using Psychic. 
I am now in the red. That was super effective. And also my special defense has fallen. Toxapex using Venoshock. Having minimal effect only to get healed by the Black Sludge. Although now it's taking a little bit of damage. Alright. Gengar using Psychic and I think that's going to finish off this Toxapex. Yes, Toxapex goes down. Now here comes a little blast from the past. He powered up and he's been waiting in the shadows to come back out in battle. It's Mimikyu. Mimikyu gets first priority with that shadow sneak. Let's see how much damage it does. Ooh, in the yellow. Gengar hanging in there. Gengar using Poltergeist. Ooh, using my life orb to attack me. How much damage is that going to do? Ooh, it's a KO! And Pika plays! Makes it into the semifinals. Congratulations, Pika plays. That was a very close battle. I have not fought a Gengar yet. Uh, so this is actually a good experience for me to fight this Gengar. So a good battle. It was very close at the end. Yes, your Gengar came through for you. Good game. Alright, get ready for the next Link battle here. The code is going to be... 2580. 2580. Alright, let's see who gets me next. That was a really good Gengar. Can I have the Drampa soon? Uh, yeah, but unfortunately we're doing this right now, so we're gonna knock out all these battles first. I think we might play Animal Crossing after this. You know, it's chill. All right, we're back with Pikachu Man. Last time Pikachu Man had the wrong battle team selected, so he had to go back and fix that. Looks like now we got the right battle team, and it will be Pikachu Man versus Professor Evergreen. When I do this again next week, um, I'll make sure to have a different team than what you're used to, and I'll have, I'll have prepared a team that, that no one has seen yet. A secret team, a different team than what I normally use. Oh, the Golden Nugget in Animal Crossing. Yeah, we'll do Animal Crossing. I'll, I'll mail out the Golden Nuggets. Good job, Pika Plays. We'll play a little bit of Smash, but we'll definitely do some Animal Crossing. So, so far we got Blaine, Big C, and Pika Plays in the semifinals. Waiting for Austin to finish making these selections here. Alright, get ready to put in the code again. Here we go. If you've not battled me yet, put in this code. If you're not ready, that's fine. You will get in there eventually. It'll be 159, 159, 15. Come on, Pikachu man. 159, 159, 15. Dan, Poke Danny keeps saying hi, what are we doing? What's the code? It's 159-159-15. It's for Poke Dan, it's for Pikachu Man, it's for Splat Trampa, or anyone else that wants to um, participate in this part of the tournament. 
the bonus round. It's called Beat the Professor. If you beat the Professor, you're in the semifinals. If you don't beat the Professor, then the Thursday, then come Thursday, and you have to battle people for a spot in the semifinals. Alright, hopefully it's all fixed now. And we're ready! Alright, this time uh, we've got some interesting Pokemon we're going up against. A Steel type, a Water type, a Naganoddle type, a Guzzlord type. Interesting selections. So, what will I pick? I'll pick something. Huh, let's see. Alright, here we go. Let the battle begin. This is a Pikachu man. Let's see what Pikachu man can do. Man. Pikachu. And here it is. How many battles have we had so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the eighth battle of the bonus round in the fourth ever Evergreen Cup. Here we have Pikachu Man throwing out Hydreigon to start out with, and that is a shiny Hydreigon looking green. Professor Evergreen starting out with Mimikyu. Alright, selections have been made here. Let's see what's going to happen next. Oh, Hydrogen has been withdrawn. And out comes Circuitry. Circuitry. Like, you know, circuitry. Get it? Like, it's why it's cables and wires. Circuitry. Circuitry. MBQ is still going to go in there and play rough, and that is a one-hit KO for Circuitry. I don't know why QT Blaine, because they were trying to get into a battle with someone specific. Alright, next up we have Naganoddle. Shiny. And I'm gonna do something that I normally don't do unless I have I have the opportunity to do this. And that's gonna be a double swords dance. I already did a swords dance one time, but I didn't get hit. Which means I still have my decoy. If I do a double swords dance, then if I hit you with this, it's gonna be like Goku that's like Ultra Instinct, like, Super Saiyan God Mode, like, Goku. Oh, it's, you have a substitute. Alright, Mimikyu, going in to play rough with the substitute. And the substitute is broken. All right, Naganoddle throwing out some toxic spikes there. That is a poison type Pokemon after all.
All right, Mimikyu is going to run in and do some damage here. Don't forget, that was a, a double Swords Dance. I can't even think of a single Pokemon that can survive a hit from Mimikyu after a double Swords Dance. In fact, I, I don't know if any Pokemon can take a hit, of, a hit from Mimikyu with a double Swords Dance. And there it is, Hydreigon, the final Pokemon here. Let's see. And going to go with Play Rough. Ooh. And there it is, a Dynamax transformation. First one of the battle. What's gonna happen here? Who gets to go first? And Mimikyu is going to play rough. Instant KO. Like I said, once Mimikyu does a Sword Stance, it's hard to survive a hit. Once Mimikyu does two Sword Stance, it's a it's the most one of the most powerful sweepers in the game. I mean, come on. Good game. That was an amazing battle there. That was um I never did Reshiram and N. Alright, if I'm gonna do Reshiram and N, I need you to comment on the most current video, which is um uh Lusamine uh with um fused with her uh Ultra Beast. Comment on that video. Uh, please do Reshiram and N, and I'll do it. But I need you to comment on the video. Comment on the most recent video, okay? Ask for this on my most recent flash warning video. All right. Uh, yes, it was a bad matchup for sure. Mimikyu is just sitting there waiting for all your types to get Mimikyu'd. All right, the next Link Battle Code is going to be... Good game, by the way, Pika, uh, Pikachu Man. That was a lot of fun. I was a bit scared there. You're really good. Uh, so let's go. 147. Uh, 147. 14. All right, 147. 147. 14. Let's see who it is I'm battling next. Found somebody. And it's Potato Ostrich, the winner of the second Evergreen Cup. Decide the battle rules, yes. Here we go. You know what? Ah! I died, guys. I'm dead. I'm just kidding. I'm not dead. Uh, I'm going to write my notes here about that Gengar. With the move Poltergeist. And G-Max. Because I want one for myself, too. I have a Gengar. I don't know if it can G-Max. I know I caught a G-Max Gengar. Uh, maybe I can hyper train it and make it perfect. I would, I would actually like to learn how to use Gengar in these battles because that Gengar was so cool. Alright, waiting on Potato. You're fighting Pika Places Gengar. Hey, what's up Kelly on the Sticks? Welcome back. You have two Pokemon with the same item, that's fine. Um, we gotta go back then. Alright, here is the code for the next battle. Get ready. And don't worry, if you haven't fought me yet, you will fight me. You know, there's only so many of you guys. There's not like a million people waiting in line. So it's gonna be 369, 369, 36. 369, 369, 36 is the code. Let's see who gets in here. Is Potato Ostrich going to make it back in or is it going to be a someone else? 
Hey guys, who's that on the bike? What the heck? Oh wait, I thought that was someone I knew. Hey, do I know you? If you talk to people, they give you stuff. Bonjour! Oh, it's a, it's a oh, I got a bottle of Moo Moo milk. Excellent. So once again, the oh, there it is. I was gonna say the code is three six nine three six nine three six, and somebody got me. It's potato again. I got potato back here. Guys, don't forget, sometimes you get disconnected from the internet. Make sure that you're connected to the internet and then you put in the code uh, in case things don't work. For some reason, it still doesn't work after that. I suggest um, restarting your game uh, because it'll put you in a different server that might be more like, uh, that might work better. All right, Potato Ostrich. Deciding who, deciding who decides the rules will be selected. Please wait. Ah, very good. Battle Tower rules. That is correct. Thank you for picking that. Now let the battle begin. So guys, uh, looks like Pika Plays has defeated me. Pika Plays is the very first winner of the Evergreen Cup. I'm going to fight Ost uh, Potato Ostrich, the second ever winner of the, potato of the uh, Evergreen Cup. And actually, the other person who beat me today was Big was Blaine Big C or uh, QT Blaine. Uh, QT Blaine was actually in the finals in the last tournament, uh, going up against Peyton. Could have gone either way, but it was really close. Um, it was best two out of three, and they each had a win. So let's see what I got here. Interesting. Alright, let's see what happens now. Here it is, guys. It is Potato Ostrich, the winner of the second Evergreen Cup, versus Professor Evergreen. Now, I don't think uh, Potato Ostrich has ever beaten me, uh, but Potato Ostrich has grown so much and has learned how to battle so much more, so we'll see what happens. Alright, Monkey is using Swords Dance, which is exactly what you should do with the Mimikyu. Attack real sharply. I'm going to use a move that's going to destroy its uh, decoy. Alright, its decoy has been destroyed. Alright, let's see what happens next. Alright, using Baneful Bunker, which is a Protect plus Poison Touch. So let's see what happens here. Mimikyu using Shadow Sneak, touching my Toxic Packs and getting poisoned in the process. You touch my Toxic Packs, you get poisoned. And Mimikyu taking poison damage there. Toxic Packs opting to hit him with a uh, Vino Shock. Alright, Shadow Sneak it is. Doing some damage, but minimal damage. Toxapex with the Dino Shock, bringing Mimikyu down to the yellow. Toxapex restoring its health with Black Sludge. Mimikyu taking poison damage. Alright, let's see what happens next here. And we get another Shadow Sneak attack here. If you want to see how much damage that did, it took me to about a little more than half. All right, Vino Shock, I think we'll finish off this Mimikyu. Mimikyu goes down. This was actually a pretty bad matchup for Mimikyu. Mimikyu does a lot better against uh, Dragon types or just types that are weak against um, Ghost type moves and Fairy type moves. 
Oh, here comes Garchomp. Garchomp using Earthquake. And that knocks Toxapex out. I'm gonna do something I normally don't ever do, but I'm gonna I'm gonna Dynamax my uh, Mimikyu. You've never seen me do it, but I'm gonna do it this time because I feel like uh, oh my channel name is Professor Evergreen with a space, so Professor and then space and then Evergreen. You might see some other weird Professor Evergreen or whatever. That's not me. You'll notice it's me because I have my logo. It's like a pink tree with one green leaf on it. The best way to find me is to go in the search bar on YouTube and put in three words: Professor. Evergreen and then Pokemon with those three words. You should definitely be able to find me Professor Evergreen Pokemon. I've had so much trouble with Garchomp that I just had to take him out And I wasn't gonna take any chances this time. I'm tired of losing the Garchomp That's why I Dynamax my Mimikyu. You've never seen me Dynamax this Mimikyu Because I almost have never done it But if it means I get to knock out a Garchomp then so be it Well, we haven't seen a transformation yet, so I guess this is going to be the time for the transformations. It's got to be it. Oh, what a golden beauty. Surfetch. Dynamaxed. Mimikyu uses max starfall. Brings Surfetch down to the red. Surfetch using max overgrowth. I believe this should heal both parties if Mimikyu survives it. Mimikyu's Disguise! I didn't realize I could use Disguise while in Dynamax form. That's new. So it didn't do any damage to me because Mimikyu had Disguise on and you broke my Disguise in Dynamax form. I've never had that happen. I thought Mimikyu was just going to get hit and that was it, you know? I didn't realize Mimikyu was just going to like tank it with the, with the Disguise. All right, Mimikyu using Smack Starfall, and I believe this should close out the battle. Good game, Potato Ostrich. You probably did not expect me to uh, Dynamax the Mimikyu, but if I didn't, I felt like the battle would have been too hard for me to win because your Guard Chomp would have destroyed the rest of my Pokemon. So to prevent your Garchomp from just from destroying me, I had to Dynamax a random Pokemon. I would never do that. So good game, Potato Ostrich. All right, that was battle number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was battle number nine of the bonus round. Good game to Potato Ostrich, and I'm sure we'll see you in the upcoming battles. All right, so let's go ahead back to the link code. This time around, the link code is gonna be 2580, 2580. There it is, 2580. You wanna know who has beaten me today? All right, well, here is a list of everybody I fought today. Uh, starting off with uh, someone on TikTok, it's a little blurry. Uh, someone on, come on, phone, focus. There you go. It was someone on TikTok. Uh, then uh, Kelly on the sticks. 
Um, then I actually got defeated by QT Blaine. Then I fought Polar Turtle, uh, CXX Tryon, David Alarka. Then I got defeated by Pika Plays. Then I fought Pikachu Man and Potato Ostrich. Communication error. Not sure what's going on with this communication error, so I'm going to go ahead and put in the link battle code again. It's going to be the same code, 2580-2580. Watch out for wild Eevees, because you know, they really love to cook food, and if you take them to your campsite, um, make sure you cook them some, some like sausages or something, if you have an Eevee. They like sausages. All right, I keep doing this wrong. Can, can, cancel your request? Yes, I need to put in the code. All right, here we go. It's going to be 2580, 2580. Oops, let me go back one. 580. Single battle. All right, let's see what's up here. Who will it be? A communication error has occurred. I'm not really sure what's going on, but I'm gonna turn off my game. And I'm going to check my internet settings. A success, which means the internet's good. So I'm gonna go back here and reopen the game and do it again, because I guess something's wrong with my connection. You're like, wait. He is using Legends. Oh, no, that wasn't Legends. Um, oh, you saw it on his team? Well, he didn't actually pick it. Uh, but as you see, guys, I defeated those Ultra Beasts. Uh, Ultra Beasts are regular Pokemon. They're just regular Pokemon from another realm. All right. So, yeah. Here we go. Back. Let's try this again. Connect to the internet. All right. The new code is going to be 123. 78912. Once again, the new code is going to be 1237891212. I will check my Pokemon Potato Oster to see if I have a Drampa on me. Do I not have a Drampa? I could have sworn I had Drampa. Maybe I traded it to somebody for something randomly. Yeah, I guess my Drampa's gone. My grandpa probably took my Drampa. Eevees. Eevees. It's Eevee. <laughs> Eevee. Oh, it's a Daniel 810. All right, who's Daniel 810? I recognize those numbers at the end. Daniel 810 is, oh, not that person. Who's Daniel 810? Oh, it's Pokedan, it's Pokedan. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, let the battle begin. If you happen to be peeping um, on YouTube, you might see a creature on my shoulder. 
If you're watching through YouTube, there's a creature on my shoulder. Uh, also, there's no lag on the YouTube Live. If you want to watch on YouTube Live, uh, hold on a second. Let's see what I got here. Um, I see they got a Dragonite, a Fire type, Water type, Fire type again, Grass type. That'd be a good spread. This one, and then this one, and then this one. Good measure. Done. All right, let's see what happens here, guys. All right, is the lag better? Something's going on with the servers and the internet. Oh, unstable connection? You're like, it's not just my Switch, it's my Xbox, too. Lost connection. Good connection. All right, connection, come back. Thank you, David Alarca. Help the connection, David Alarca. Oh, you finally get your basement paid off? Nice. All right, so this is Pokedan. All right, here we go, fighting Pokedan. All right, Mimikyu, Swords Dance. All right, M Dog using Heavy Slam. Mimikyu's disguise served as a decoy. Alright, sending Mimikyu back to where it came. Toxapex, let's show him what's up. M Dog using that heavy slam. Oh, you want to change your card? Um, did you do that in the Pokemon Center? Go to the Pokemon Center and talk to the guy on the left, and you can change your uh, your trainer card. Also, you can update your trainer card depending if you get your hair done or something like that. If you, you change your fashion, it can update your card. So let's see. Uh, Pokemon Fight. The Bunker of Banes. Alright, Toxapex using Baneful Bunker. I really hope he uses that move again. And he... Earth Power! He used Earth Power. I did not expect that. Alright, Toxic Toxapex protecting itself. All right, next I'm gonna throw out some toxic spikes. Hopefully, I can get somebody with these toxic spikes. M Dog using Earth Power again, doing some damage here to Toxapex. Toxapex super effective. M-Dog using Earth Power. Doing even more damage to Toxapex. It's super effective. Toxapex using Recover. Here's the HP if you want to take a look. I'm in the lower yellow. Now I'm in the green. And that brings me up more. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and hit Fight here. Toxapex with that Baneful Bunker. Am I losing internet connection? Do I have... Is this thing connected to the power? Let me see. Let me double check my power, guys. Make sure I'm connected to the uh, power outlet back there. If not, it can be really bad. Oh, okay. I gotta do my move next. Alright, my next move is going to be... Vino shot. Alright. Yes, I'm connected to the power outlet. We should be good. Alright. Slow battle here. I did a little bit of damage to M Dog. 
going with Baneful Bunker. M Dog going with Earth Power, getting deflected. Ooh, Toxapex getting hit with that Earth Power again. Toxapex using Vino Shock here. Doing some more damage, not that much though. M Dog's stamina. Oh, M Dog's defense rose. All right, I'm gonna let it hit me with another one of these. Uh, oh, it's gonna use Rock Slide again. Rock Slide now. All right, hitting me with Rock Slide doesn't do that much damage. Toxapex using Recover. And I have a little bit more health to recover. And there it is, back to full health. I'm gonna hit Fight. Let's go Baneful Bunker again. And don't worry, if you wanna go next, um, everyone will get a chance to fight me. Yeah, don't worry, like I said, if you want to go next, uh, you will fight me eventually. Toxic Pax hitting up with that Vino Shaw. M Dog Stamina raising its defense again. So one tactic that I'm using right now, I'm using a secret tactic, I haven't really said anything about it, but my secret tactic is to force my opponent to use up all their PP, uh, because once they don't have enough PP, they can't do the moves anymore, and if they can't do the moves anymore, you know, they're basically sitting in the water, waiting to get destroyed. So I'm going to go ahead and use a different move here. I'm going to hit with Vino Shock again. The only downside is I keep raising its defense every time I hit it with Venoshock. But at least I'm doing damage. And don't forget, it's Defense Rose, not it's Special Defense. There's a big difference between Special Defense and Defense. You guys ever look in the audience? Sometimes you can see uh, Pokemon in the audience. I see a couple Volpix, I see Pikachu. And don't forget the Rotom that's going around recording everything. The, um, the, the drone Rotom. Hit me with that heavy slam. I think heavy slam might be able to paralyze me. I forget. Toxapex using recover. I'll tell you one thing though. And I'm going to tell you after I see the move happen. Because I don't know if, uh, if Pokedan is watching the, uh, the TikTok live right now. Or if Pokedan is watching the uh, YouTube live. But this is a really good Pokemon you're using. I don't really have too many strats against uh, Mudbray. Or M Dog, as you call it.
All right, deciding what move you're gonna use here. Oh, is could this what? No way. Out of nowhere, we're seeing a Dynamax transformation late into this little skirmish here between uh, Mudbray and Toxapex. Mudbray just decided to go ahead and turn big. Toxapex with a baneful bunker. Mudbray using Max Quake here. Alright, this my this next move oh max rockfall. I believe it's a rock type move, so it will do damage, but not as much as a ground type move could have. Toxapex um, using recover. Alright, back to full health here, although the sandstorm will take away some, but then the black sludge will heal it back. All right. Toxapex with Baneful Bunker, trying to block uh, or trying to tank this next uh, this next move here by Mudbray using Max Quake. See if if uh, Mudbray had used Max Quake for the second one, he would have done. He probably would have knocked out my Toxapex. But since he used Max Rockfall instead of Max Quake, Toxapex survived. And that is the third D-Max move by Mudbray, so Mudbray's gonna have to shrink back down. But it's actually still a big Pokemon, so there it is. Mudbray. Ooh, he's Baneful Bunker, but it failed. M-Dog using Earth Power. I didn't know he still had Earth Power. I thought it used it all up. Alright, using Rock Slide. Toxapex taking major damage here. Toxapex getting buffeted by the Sandstorm, healing itself slightly. Toxapex has. Toxapex using Baneful Bunker here. M Dog with the Rock Slide. Toxapex protected itself. Toxapex Tox uh, heals its life a little bit with Black Sludge. Moving back to Venoshock. M Dog with the Rock Slide. How much higher can M Dog's stamina even go? Alright, Toxapex recovering some health there. Alright, waiting on my opponent to choose a move to do. Both Pokemon have very strong defensive powers.
All right. Toxapex, come back. Hydrogen. Let's finish this. Hitting me with superpower like he knew what I was doing. Maybe he's watching the TikTok. That was a big mistake on my part because I am now down quite a bit here. Hydrogen going with Max Flare. The sunlight turned harsh. It's defense rose again for like the millionth time. I'm using super power. It's super effective. Alright, using Max Warm Wind here. And that's gonna knock M Dog down. My goodness, what a powerful Pokemon. Oh man. Jeez, I didn't think I didn't think that Mudbray was ever gonna go down. Oh. And it looks like that Blastoise got poisoned upon entry. Alright, Hydrogen going with Max Wormwind here. And looks like the attack fell. Going with Flash Cannon. Hydrogen surviving the attack at 14% uh, 14 health This has been a very long close battle I, I could have never imagined that a mudbray would have given me so much trouble All right dragon pulse Do we have one more Pokemon or was that it? Galar Champion. Oh, it got poisoned upon entry. Toxapex did its job. And I think this might be it. If I go first. No, they're going first. And Hydrogen goes down. Alright, looks like my opponent took some damage there from, from the poison. Guess what's super effective right now? Poison. And guess what Pokemon I'm bringing out? Toxapex. Now, just so you know, I do have uh, my Mimikyu. And the Mimikyu has already done Swords Dance. So it's ready to like immediately go out and start sweeping. Uh, but let's try and finish off the Vino Shock here. Now the opponent will go first because they're just faster than me. Toxapex is not fast by any means. Toxapex tanks it, takes some damage there. And here's the Vino Shock. Super effective. Looks like you've gotten down to a little bit of health and the poison should finish him off. This could be the battle. And yes, the poison did him in. Good game. What an amazing battle this was. That Mudbray though. Oh my goodness, that Mudbray was so powerful. Good game. GG's in the chat. Good job, uh, Pokedan. I would definitely keep that Mudbray, because that's, that's a wild card. No one expects that Mudbray. And boy, is it dangerous. Alright, let's put this battle here. What are we doing in the after game? Once, I'm, once I finish with everybody, then we'll do the after game. Unless, uh, can somebody trade Potato Ostrich a Drampa? If you have a Drampa, give one to Potato Ostrich. Alright, get ready for the next battle. 
All right, the code is going to be 147, 147, 14. 147, 147, 14. Thank you to those who came to the YouTube Live because I highly appreciate all the views I can get on YouTube Live. If you do come check out the YouTube Live, at least hit the like button on the video. I highly appreciate that. The link is in my profile. Also, you can see the whole screen and you can see me. You haven't been able to see me on TikTok this whole time because I've been facing it towards the screen. Smash Bros for the after game, please. We're going to do both Animal Crossing and Smash Bros. Um, really, please be me. You saw it, it was 147, 147, 14. Ooh, I think Adrian put in a code for trading, not for battling. Adrian, you put in a code for trading, not battling. One four seven, one four seven, one four. Make sure you choose link battle and not link trade. Because I think I see Adrian with the little trade symbol. See right there, Adrian, where it says, like, Adrian's looking to trade right now. I thought Adrian was looking to battle right now. He's looking to trade. He did it again. Uh-oh, I found somebody. And it's Joe. Just a cup of Joe. Uh, David is David Ilarka. Yes, Pikachu man. That is somebody from the stream. David Ilarka is the person who's trying to friend you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move this off screen here. Now, obviously, they're not going to pick uh, the Ho-Oh, so there's only five Pokemon they can pick from, which kind of helped me counterpick a little bit. So do remember, people are counterpicking. They can see which Pokemon you have in your box. So if one of your Pokemon doesn't meet the criteria, it immediately is not one of your team. So if you have six Pokemon and you're only picking three, it makes it hard for someone to counterpick because they don't know which Pokemon you're going to start out with. Looks like we're seeing a transformation. Is it Dynamax or Gigantamax? It's Gigantamax. Whoa, that looks so cool. I really like the Gigantamax uh, Blastoise. I get a bad feeling about this. Toxapex, watch out. G-Max Cannonade? Whoa, that's going to do so much damage. Toxapex, survive it. It's not very effective. I get caught in a vortex of water. Toxapex uses Toxic Spikes. Alright, using Baneful Bunker here to block some of this attack coming up next. Toxapex protected itself. G-Max Cannonade. That giant cannon in the middle is the one that really does it. It's not very effective. Alright, G Max Cannonade one more time. 
boy, is my Pokemon taking a beating right now? Only has one move. No! It's, oh, because you have all water moves. Oh, that was cool. Alright, let's see what Lil' Joe does next. I got Baneful Bunker with Toxapex. Hoping for physical contact. And we've got Lil' Joe doing the same thing with its own version of Protect. Except that one does boost the defense. Lil' Joe using Iron Defense once more. Boosting the fence again. Rose sharply. Toxapex using Vino Shock here. Doing a decent amount of damage with that Vino Shock though. Uh oh. Anyone that switches in might get poisoned. And let's see Pre Marina. Does Pre Marina get poisoned? Yes! And, to and uh. The move I'm going to use, Venoshock does extra damage to poison the Pokemon, which means Primarina is really going to get it, and it's going down to the red. It was actually Zoroark getting hit and poisoned. Zoroark's life goes down to the very low red. Toxapex using Baneful Bunker here to prevent any damage. Knowing that Zoroark will automatically get knocked out in the next turn. Oh, it protects itself from Hex. And Zoroark is poison, which means the poison will do it in. This tells me that Prima Arena is actually the third Pokemon since Zoroark copies uh, the, the Pokemon, I believe, in the first slot. So let's have it Prima Arena. Oh no, it's, it's Blastoise again. Blastoise getting poisoned for switching back in. All right, looks like Vino Shock is back on the menu. Little Joe trying to use a Water type move, doing minimal damage, not very effective. Water type, is, uh, Water is not very effective against uh, Toxapex. Toxapex doing major damage with Vino Shock. Blastoise taking poison damage from being poisoned. All right, Joe withdrew Lil' Joe and sends out Primarina. Primarina getting poisoned upon entry due to the toxic spikes. And here comes Venoshock again, doing extra damage to poison the Pokemon. That's nearly a one-hit KO down to the red. Toxapex at full health. Primarina taking that poison damage and going down. Good game, just a couple of jokes. You fought as best as you could. All right, looks like I'm gonna try and finish the battle here with a Vino Shock. Little Joe using Water Pulse. It's not very effective. Um, just a couple of jokes. I feel like I could definitely help make your team stronger. So make sure to uh, message me on Discord, and we'll talk about uh, boosting up your team. Right, here we go. Good game. I really like that pose you have chosen, Joe. Uh, that's awesome. It's like a martial arts pose. All right, GG's in the chat. I will definitely take your lead card. And it's time for the next battle. GG's, good game. Jessica, but Joe, you rock. Thank you so much for uh, entering the bonus round. All right, let's go to the next link battle code. If you've not battled me yet and you want a chance into the bonus round, it's one, two, three. Seven eight nine one two. One once again, it's a one two three seven eight nine one two. That's gonna be the code. So go ahead and put it in. Just so you guys know, uh, Potato Ostrich is looking for a uh, Drampa. So if you have one, please trade him a Drampa. All right, I found a battle right away. Let's find out who this is. It's Binks.
Hey, what's up, Cole? I keep forgetting who Binx is, but Binx has been here since the beginning, like, always been to my, uh, lives, my, YouTube, my, uh, my TikTok lives. What's up, Cole? Cole, did you see that I, I did the, uh, flash warning that you asked me for on your birthday? Cole, I did a flash morning video for you on your birthday, period. Please comment on the video. Alright, so I forget who Binks is. Uh, so we've got a lot of options here. Alright, here we go. Oh, that's right, it's Kakigurui Animation. It's Binks. Alright, how many battles have we had so far? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is the 12th battle in the bonus series of the Evergreen Cup number 4. We've gotten two winners so far, and they, they have been Pika Plays and Blaine, QT Blaine. Now, if my predictions are correct, I'm going to see a um, gigantification right off the bat. No! Pulled back! Lycanroc? Oh. Lycanroc using Rock Tomb. And that lowers Toxapex's speed. Toxapex throwing out those toxic spikes. Toxapex healing with the black sludge. Thanks once again to whoever's on uh, YouTube Live. Thank you for being here. Oh, Tarantula just spawned in Animal Crossing. Those are scary. You caught Drampa and finally completed your Pokedex. Yes! That's awesome, Potato Ostrich. I'm so proud of you. That's that's amazing. Now you just have to go and collect your uh, shiny charm. Go get your shiny charm. But it failed. Oh, of course it uses bite. Oh. All right. All right, getting some good damage in there with those bites. Using Venus Shock. Venus Shock not doing very much, not very effective. Toxapex healing up a little bit with the Black Sludge. All right, using uh, Baneful Bunker, hoping for a bite. And there it is, Lycanroc uses bite, which means Lycanroc will get poisoned. There it is, poison damage starts now. All right, my first mission was to poison a Pokemon. My second mission is to start attacking it with Venoshock. Because as you know, Venoshock does four times the amount of damage on a Pokemon that is poisoned. Otherwise, it does very little damage. You're like, hey, it's me, Joe. Hey, what's up, Minecraft Joe? Thanks for being here on the, um, on the live. All right, Venoshock. Let's go. That time it's doing a lot more damage than before because that Pokemon is poison. Toxapex restoring its health. Lycanroc taking more poison damage. I'd say one more Venoshock and that Lycanroc will have to go back in his Pokeball KO'd. Let's find out what happens next. 
Ooh, Lycanroc gets pulled back in. And who comes out? None other than Garchomp. My worst nightmare. Garchomp gets poisoned due to the poison spikes. And Toxapex uses Venushock on a poison Pokemon. There it is. Not very effective, though. The poison damage is doing pretty good. Alright, Toxapex is going to play defensively here. And go with a Baneful Bunker. Ooh, we're going to see a, um, a Dynamax here. It's going to be Dynamax uh, Garchomp. Let's see what happens. And it looks like we've got a Dynamax Garchomp on the scene. Now, here's the thing. This Garchomp is already poisoned. Um, so it will be taking damage every turn no matter what. Uh, this Toxapex here uh, will be using Baneful Bunker, which is Protect. And uh, while Protect does block uh, a lot of damage, it does not block all the damage from uh, a D-Max move, only some of it. Here is going to take the brunt of that damage right there. It's super effective, uh, but uh, mitigated a lot of that damage there with the Protect move. Okay, as you know, I can't really use that move twice in a row without it failing, without a high probability of it failing. failing. So I'm going to go with Recover as my next move. I'm going to get hit really hard. If I survive this attack, I could defeat this Garchomp. If I survive it, I did not survive it. Garchomp destroyed him. All right, you did your best, Toxapex. You did a lot of damage there. All right, looks like Garchomp's taking some poison damage. And now for my trump card. I knew you were gonna use Garchomp, but guess what? I have a Garchomp killer. And my Garchomp killer, it's Mimikyu. Mimikyu, destroy this Garchomp. But first, let's get a sword stance. Max Rockfall. It's going to do zero damage to me because I have Disguise, which is way better than Protect. And I believe that was his third move there. Which means uh, he's going to have to shrink back down. Mimikyu using Swords Dance, sharply increasing its attack. Mimikyu getting buffeted by the Sandstorm. Alright, uh, Garchomp taking some poison damage there. Mimikyu going in for the play rough. Oh, withdrawing Garchomp. And looks like Cinderace is going to take this hit. This is going to be a big hit for Cinderace to take. In fact, I think Cinderace is going to get knocked out by this move. Let's find out. Cinderace survives it. Alright, getting buffeted by the sandstorm. Not to mention Cinderace is poisoned. Ooh, the poison almost knocks him out. Alright, I feel like Mimikyu is in danger because of how fast Cinderace is. Cinderace is a bit too quick for my, for my Mimikyu. So I'm going to put Hydreigon out there to protect. Hydreigon, defend. Ooh, we're going to see a Shadow Ball here. It's going to do a lot of damage to my Hydreigon. Ooh, I mean, it's not very effective. Uh, and then, um, looks like the Sandstorm is going to knock him out. If not, the Poison was going to knock him out. Alright. Oh, you're going to be live later if you want to press YouTube? Yeah, that'd be awesome on YouTube. Yeah, I'll definitely check you out, Joe, on YouTube. Um, Alright, and we're back to this again. No. Now it's my turn. You had your turn. Let's go. Dynamax time, baby. Let's go over 9,000. Power level over 9,000. It's over 9,000! All right, let's finish this and go home. Hydrogen. Oh no. Hydrogen tanked it. Hydrogen has 15 health left. He got hit by that outrage pretty hard. There it is. Max Wormwind. 
And Garchomp, the beast, goes down. Getting buffed by the Sandstorm, getting down to five life left. Oh no! I thought that was the end of the match. Lycanroc is still in. I forgot all about Lycanroc. Oh no, please let me use this move. I know Lycanroc is so fast. No, he's gonna use Rock Slide. Hydrogen! No! Hydrogen goes down! How can this even possibly be? Hydrogen! And the Sandstorm fades. Lycanroc getting poisoned. Don't worry, I've got but one Pokemon left for you, butto, bucko. And that Pokemon I've got left is Mimikyu. But it's not just any Mimikyu. This Mimikyu managed to do a Swords Dance. And then I withdrew it for a later battle. This is that later battle. I saved my Mimikyu for you. I have a move that no matter what, I will go first. And it's Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak, activate. Mimikyu, let's take, let's finish this. Shadow Sneak goes in, it's a one hit, and Lycanroc goes down. Now I can safely say that the battle is over. That was a crazy battle, I went back and forth a lot. I'd say you were one of the toughest people I fought so far, Binks. GG's Kakagurui Animation. Yeah, we're gonna play Smash Bros. I'll take your league card. That was a crazy good battle, Binks. Like, you got them strats. That was close. We each came down to our last Pokemon, and we each got damaged on our last Pokemon. If I didn't have that poison, I would not have won. But the poison came in real handy for me. Alright, get ready for the next battle here. The link code for the next battle, if you've not fought me yet, is going to be 1237891212. If you guys are practicing in Smash, don't worry, I will come and SMASH you after all after we're done with all this today. So here's the plan. We're gonna not we're gonna go through everybody. Once I'm done with everybody, we're gonna take a break. Uh, for dinner time and whatnot. Um, after, after our little break, we'll, we'll come back and play the after games. Uh, we'll start um, with Animal Crossing and then do Smash. So maybe we'll, we'll visit someone's island or something. Or we can start with Smash and then, then do Animal Crossing, one or the other. Alright, who am I fighting against here? I did not see who my opponent was this time. Oh, it's Adrian. I honestly think Adrian will be my last one for today. I don't know if anyone else. Do I have Minecraft? Yeah, I, I like Minecraft. I don't really play it actively, but um, I do enjoy Minecraft. And I used to host uh, Minecraft tournaments. That's your YouTube? Okay. I'll, I'll make sure to follow you back, uh, Minecraft dude. I'll take a little screenshot. Oh, can screenshots work like that? Um, I'll make sure to follow you when I get the chance. Because I'm going live right now. Oh, here we go. i got to choose my Pokemon. Looks like you can't choose Mewtwo, so he's stuck between Lucario, Cinderace, Vaporeon that bug thing and then uh, Raichu Alright, here we go. Uh, yeah, so you guys can play with me today. Uh, we're gonna play some other stuff. Ooh, I like that. I'm taking a screenshot. I like that background, Adrian. Adrian, you are the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13th person I'm fighting today. Let's see what happens. You'll be on Minecraft today? That's awesome. Yeah, I love Minecraft. Minecraft is awesome. If you guys get a chance, you should look up an organization called- Oh, wait, wait for my connection to come back. 
No, my connection, my lost connection. When will my connection return? Alright, something's wrong with my connection, guys. You're using Mewtwo! Mewtwo's against the rules. I mean, you already lost this battle because of a uh, technical loss, I guess, Adrian. Um, but I'll still fight you. Don't forget, there's no legendaries. No mythicals. Guess what Mewtwo is? He's a legendary. He's not allowed to be in the battle. Adrian, I'll let you run away in your next turn, and then we can retry this. Uh, or if you don't run away in your next turn, we can finish this battle, and it just won't count. Because it's against the rules, yo. Alright, Adrian opting to fight me anyways. You said Mewtwo shiny is cool. Oh, okay, so you do want to fight the normal way. Alright, Adrian, here's your uh, chance. You're like, this is the greatest plan. This is the greatest plan. Alright, uh... Adrian, you can't use legendaries, you can't use mythicals. I'm gonna try this one last time. I think this might be the last person I'm fighting, unless Cole, you wanna try this too? Um, here's a link battle code again. Remember, no legendaries, no mythicals. No one else has been using them, which means you also can't use them. So 147, 147, 14. 147, 147, 14. That is gonna be it. Adrian, I'm giving you a second chance here. Cole, you don't want to be a part of it? That's fine. I, I'll fight you in Smash later, Cole. Is this it? Do I have any more challengers for the bonus round? Adrian, if you want to fight me, uh, put in the code. Just make sure you don't use Mewtwo or any legendaries or mythicals because we're not using those. Um, if you want to look at the list again, it was someone on TikTok, Kelly, uh, QT uh, Blaine, Polar Turtle, CXX Tryon, David Alarca, Pika Plays, Pikachu Man, Potato Ostrich, Poke Dancho, Kakuguru Animation, Adrian. Uh, Adrian, if you want to fight me, put in the code 147 uh, 147 Where's Adrian? The code is 147. 14714, Adrian. There you go. Now remember, no legendaries and no mythicals. I got a feeling this is the last battle of the bonus round. Congratulations to QT Blaine and Pika Plays for making it to the semifinals. We've got one more person here who could make it. Let's find out if Adrian can make it to the semifinals through the bonus round. This is not the actual tournament yet. This is all bonus stuff. But if you do defeat me, it'll shortcut you to the top of the tournament. So we're doing all week long. So let's go to begin the battle. Remember, no legendaries, no mythicals.
All right, here we go. Flat Trampa, I don't think I fought you yet either. If you want to be next, Flat Trampa, let me know, and you will definitely be next, okay? You're not gonna fight because you're too lazy? That's fine. All right, so this might be it. This might be the final bonus round battle. Ooh, using hypnosis. Toxapex fell asleep. Oh, using Dream Eater, very nice. And Toxapex is still asleep. He healing itself slightly though. There it is. I have not used this Pokemon this entire bonus round. This is the first time I'm using this Pokemon for the fourth Ever Evergreen Cup, and it's Aegislash. Literally, the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Pokemon. He's a short. He's a sword and a shield. Oh my goodness! I didn't realize a, 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 a Dynamax Pokemon can just fall asleep. Aegislash woke up. Aegislash's stance change. And there it is, Max Phantasm. Flagon gets hit down to the red. Oh, he's actually going to Dynamax a Pokemon that has a few hits left? I did not expect this. Flygon literally has a very few hits left. Look at Flygon's HP. But he's still going to Dynamax it. This is in the craziest battle. Like, it's so crazy. Aegislash getting hit really hard into the red. It's super effective. Aegislash using Max Phantasm. And Flygon goes down. Aegislash healing itself a little bit with the leftovers. Getting you set up. Set up. Alright, here's that Gardevoir. Alright, Aegislash using Shadow Sneak. Doing a lot of damage to uh, Gardevoir named Lucky. Using Hypnosis again. And Aegislash falls asleep. Aegislash is fast asleep. So it's unable to do any moves. Dream Eater gets hit by Dream Eater and...
Gardevoir restores some health with that Dream Eater. Alright, here comes Mimikyu. Alright, Mimikyu is Shadow Sneak. Trying to get in there. And that's going to KO this sleeping machine. This amazing Gardevoir. My goodness. It's so hard to fight against a Pokemon that can put you to sleep so easily. They should have one Pokemon left. And it's Lucario. Ooh, shiny Lucario. All right, Lucario using Shadow Claw here. Mimikyu's disguise gets destroyed. Mimikyu using Swords Dance. Now this Lucario is really fast. I think it's faster than my Mimikyu. So I'm gonna use a move that has priority. Shadow Claw, if this knocks me out, I could be in danger, and I'm in danger, because now we are down to one Pokemon each, and the Pokemon I have left actually um, is asleep, so that's definitely not good. Wake up, Toxapex. This is it, we each have one Pokemon left. That Gardevoir did a number on me. Toxapex woke up! Toxapex uses Baneful Bunker! Oh my goodness, I can't believe Toxapex woke up! Alright, using Swords Dance. Alright, using Shadow Claw does a lot of damage to me. I'm going to have to use Recover. Toxapex using Recover. Toxapex using Baneful Bunker here. not looking good guys I can't do any damage to this Lucario because it's immune to poison attacks so the Venus shock does no damage to it and I have no Pokemon left throwing out moves now. I'm pretty sure Adrian's going to win this one because I don't know what I can do now. Venushock has no effect because it's a, a metal type Pokemon. And Baneful Bunker's not forcing anyone to get poison because he's immune to poison. We 
Zakara using Shadow Claw. Lucario using Shadow Claw. I'm going to lose this battle, but I'm not going to make it an easy win. I mean, we're at the very end of the battle. I, sh I should have realized that Lucario is metal type and he's, he's immune to poison, or else I wouldn't have left Toxapex alone at the end. And that's it! We actually have a third person to enter the semi-finals! It's Adrian! Good game, Adrian! It came down to typing at the end. Hey, what's up, uh, Mads Loves, uh, and, and... Mads Love HNL, HNH Land Pokemon? Egg Roll Vibes, I remember you. I'll be taking that league card. Thank you. So yes, congratulations to Adrian. Splatrampa, do you want to fight? Yes or no? Oh, NHL, okay. Alright, Splatrampa, if you want to battle, here is the battle code. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. One two. Once again, that's one two three seven eight nine one two. Good game, by the way, to um, Adrian for and congratulations for making it into the semifinals. You had just the right Pokemon to take down my team. Man, if only I could I could do damage to that Lucario at the end. I was able to do zero damage to it. If I could even do a little bit of damage, I could have won that battle. But just the fact that. Steel types are completely immune to any kind of poison attacks or poison at all. It kind of messed me up. I did not open a Pokemon card pack yet. I'm going to do that after this battle. This is the last battle, guys. The last battle of the day here. I'm going to decide the rules myself. What happened? What's, what's the bad news, uh, Joe? Alright, just waiting on Splatrampa to finish making this selection for the box. Then we can get this final battle going. And just so you guys know, we have three people actually. A record three people making it into the semifinals. Uh, which is uh, QT Blaine, Pika Plays, and Adrian. That means you no longer need to compete, and a Saturday will be when you compete next. But my next live will be Thursday, probably 7.30 p.m. So even if you want to come by for the live on Thursday, you can still come and hang out and watch what happens as people try to get into the semifinals. You want to have a Mimikyu off? Mimikyu battle. And then... Okay, here it goes.
All right, the battle has begun. It looks like I'm going up against... I can't see who the Pokemon I'm fighting against because the screen keeps scrolling around the trainer instead of the Pokemon. And it is a uh, Mimikyu versus Mimikyu battle. So, Mimikyu versus Mimikyu, if I knock their thing off first, they're gonna sword dance. Normally, what you're supposed to do with Mimikyu is Swords Dance first, but I'm gonna mess with this other Mimikyu and try and destroy their decoy first. Ooh, it actually used Shadow Claw? I did not expect that. Now I'm actually scared to use my move. I guess we'll waste our Mimikyu's. No special sweeps. Oh, what? You're gonna actually use that? Whoa, there's a giant Mimikyu right there. Don't forget, earlier I actually ended up uh, Dynamaxing a Mimikyu. Alright, using Shadow Sneak, because I changed up my plan that I usually do. Now, as you know, uh, Shadow Sneak goes first, and it was super effective. Now, I didn't do any Swords Dance, but um, I, took a, I took a gamble there, and it paid off. Sometimes you gotta take a gamble in battles. Ooh, that's a shiny. Shiny Litten looks so cool. It's a white kitten. Now I'm curious, can a fire Pokemon get burned? Yeah, that Litten is so cool looking. Oof. Took a big hit. And I got burned. Litten got hit by the recoil. I got hit, I got hurt by the burn. Alright, I'm gonna use Shadow Sneak because it looks like Litten goes first, but Shadow Sneak always goes first. So I'll use Shadow Sneak. Do some damage there, and whatever he does is gonna knock me out. And I got knocked out just like that. Alright, so I'm currently fighting a fire type Pokemon. Which says I don't want to bring out my metal type, because you know uh, fire is strong against metal types. Alright, Toxapex. Let's see if he falls for a physical attack. Please hit me with the physical. No, it can't. Mm. Ooh, yes, Litten does attack me with the physical attack, which causes it to get poisoned from the from the baneful bunker. I'm gonna use this opportunity to throw out some toxic spikes. Litten using Thrash. All right, throw out some toxic spikes here. That's gonna poison whatever Pokemon steps on them next. Oof, Litten getting hit with that poison attack. Let's wrap up this Litten with a Vino Shock. Litten using Thrash once again, doing minimal damage to Toxapex. Getting confused in the process. Toxapex, uh, Toxapex using Vino Shock, and that's gonna knock Litten out. Very cute looking cat. I can't wait to see it grow up into an Incineroar one day. Unless you want to keep it a Litten, 
I know some people who love keeping Pokemon unevolved, and that's just what they do. They love unevolved Pokemon. Because they think they're cute, you know? Pokemon get kind of nasty and crazy when they evolve, but they look so cute when they're in their first stage. Alright, well Buffett getting poisoned upon entry. I'm gonna be fancy. This might come back and haunt me. Pokemon can't be switched out. I'm not allowed to switch out my Pokemon. That's weird. Alright, fine then. If I can't switch out my Pokemon, I'm gonna Dynamax this one. What's my least favorite Pokemon? Uh, my. Hey, what's up, Niche Bro? My least favorite Pokemon. Blah, 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 blah. I can't really say I have a least favorite one, but if I have a Pokemon that does haunt me and I kind of dislike it, um, it would have to be tr all the Trubbishes I get from my red eggs in Pokemon Go, because I'm tired of hatching Trubbish. When I get a red egg in Pokemon Go, I expect it to not be a Trubbish. Alright, I'm gonna do Max Ooze. Toxapex uses Max Ooze. That looks poisonous. Oh, Ghost Gamer. You said you wanna battle me for the league, yeah? Alright. We'll see who is still interested at the end of this. Come on, one more attack, and that should be it for this battle. You just got a shiny Arceus in Pokemon Home. You got this by Trampa. I did like her Mimikyu versus Mimikyu battle. I thought that was kind of cute. <laughs> Pokemon niche! What is the Evergreen Cup? Somebody just asked me what is the Evergreen Cup. Basically every week um, I hold a Pokemon tournament and the Evergreen Cup is basically a um, Battle Tower of Rules with no mythicals, no legendaries and um, on Tuesdays you can battle the professor. If you beat the professor you take a, sh uh, a shortcut all the way to semifinals. If you don't, which most people don't, um, that's fine too because on Thursday we're going to continue the tournament. And um, anybody has a chance to get a chance into the semifinals there too, just by defeating someone else. On Saturday, we do the losers bracket. The winner of the losers bracket on Saturday gets to join the semifinalists, and then we have our semifinalists uh, part of the tournament. Then we do our finals, and we call it a day. So every week, this is the fourth ever Evergreen Cup. Uh, good battle there, GG Splat Trampa. Thank you so much for fighting me. Is there anyone else who has not fought me? that wants to fight the professor. Let me know right now in the comments. If not... Oh, you want to have a regular double battle with me? Uh, oh, we're doing single battles, not double battles. Just so you know. Splat Trampa. Alright, guys. How many battles have we had today? So first, I fought against uh, someone on TikTok. Then I fought uh, Kelly on the Sticks. Then I fought QT Blaine. QT Blaine actually defeated me. Uh, Polar Turtle. Then I fought uh, CXX Trine. Then I fought David Alarka. Then I fought Pika Plays. Pika Plays did defeat me, so that's the second person to make it to the semifinals. Uh, Pikachu Man. Uh, then we had uh, Potato Ostrich, uh, Pokedan 810. We had uh, Just a Couple Joe. We had Kakagurui Animation. Then Adrian making it into the finals is the third person to make it into the finals, and we just fought Splat Trampa. Is there anyone else? Ghost Gamer? Alright. So yeah guys, I've been doing this for a while. Um, so if you want to put the code right now, we're doing a single battle rules. The code is going to be um, 2580. 2580. I thought Spy was the last one, but it looks like we've still got maybe one or two more to join. So let's see what it's going to be. 52... Uh, Two five 
8-0-2-5-8-0. And I'll see you here. If you want to do a double battle, uh, join my Discord. And we can double battle for fun. Um, but if you want to join my Discord, look into the um, YouTube live uh, description. And you'll see a link to the Discord. Otherwise, I have a link to my Discord on my uh, TikTok profile. All right, so we're fighting great vibes. I believe this is the ghost person we were talking to. We were just talking to. We are gonna play Smash after this, and we're gonna play a little bit of Animal Crossing. Uh, but we're gonna take a break in between uh, the tournament and the after games. That way, I can go eat dinner. All right, let the battle begin. Okay, here we go. So this is uh, Ghost Gamer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This is the fifteenth battle today. Ghost Gamer. All right, I'm gonna choose my Pokemon here, so you can't see which Pokemon I'm choosing. Alright, I chose a different mix, uh, kind of unsafe mix, but I kind of feel like I needed to against the Pokemon I'm fighting against. So let's see what happens here. Uh, yeah, we can do Animal Crossing first and then Smash. We'll just do a little bit in Animal Crossing and then we'll do mostly Smash after that since a lot of people want to do both. First, we just got to figure out whose island we're going to visit first. So, um... If you're interested in us visiting your island in Animal Crossing, uh, let me know and I'll add you onto my dice. I'm going to be rolling a dice with 20 faces. It's called a 1d20. So um, when, I come, when it comes down to it, I'm not going to do it right now because I'm battling. But when, when we get to it, you'll give me a number and I'll roll a number, that number. And if you know if it's one of one, if it's if you land on your face one through 20, um, we'll go to your island. It's no legendaries, no mythicals. Um, so I'm gonna have to exit this battle. I did mention it really quick. Uh, I'll, well, I'll give you a second chance, a second chance to join here. Uh, no, no mythicals, no legendaries. Uh, we're doing battle tower rules. You can use ultra beasts if you want. Uh, Gigantamax and Dynamax are allowed. It's fine. Hey, what's up, Carlos? Uh, Kaloka. Carlos Kaloka. Kind of rolls off the tongue. All right. back thanks for sharing the live video uh pika plays highly appreciate that if you want to battle me one more time all you have to do is hit me up on discord and then uh, we'll set up a time that we can just battle and hang out or something like that uh see i would attempt to battle you but i'm still ev training oh that's fine uh niche bro you gotta ev train you know what i mean ev training comes before hyper training Okay, um, so I've got a Gengar, which means I'm going to start off with a Swords Dance. Mimikyu avoided the, uh, the Hypnosis. Hey, what's up, Joe? Welcome back. 
Legends are not allowed. That's why I had somebody... I had to restart this battle because legends are not allowed. Alright, Gengar is probably going to use Hypnosis again, but he's not going to make it in time because Mimikyu will be using uh, Sneak Attack first. As you know, some moves like Quick Attack get a plus one in speed. So uh, here it is. One hit KO on the Gengar. You have three regular bottle caps and one gold bottle cap. Did you get those bottle caps from uh, going to the Mystery Gift? Guys, just so you know, if you go to Mystery Gift in your game, connect to internet, uh, you can receive uh, three regular bottle caps, one gold bottle caps, and a whole bunch of cool orbs. Alright, here it is, another Mimikyu. Do we both have Shiny Mimikyu? We both have Shiny Mimikyu. How is my move disabled? Can anybody explain to me how my move got disabled? I know it's pro it happened in the game somehow, like... But which Pokemon caused my move to get disabled? Oh, was that an ability? See, Shadow Sneak is disabled. I don't understand. Because he uses a disable move? What was the move that caused it to get disabled? Oh, the Gengar did it. That's what it was. Ah. Hey, what's up, um, Adam Loy? Pika Plays is your cousin. Pika Plays is the first winner of the uh, Evergreen Cup and also a semi-finalist here in the fourth Evergreen Cup. It's when the last move you use gets disabled for one to eight turns. Oh, so it's like random how many turns it gets disabled for? Yikes, there goes a uh, Dynamax Mimikyu. Very scary. Pretty sure it's holding a life orb because it got damaged a little bit. Ouch, it's gonna use Max Phantasm against me. And Mimikyu takes a huge hit there, goes down. If only I could have used Shadow Sneak. Because it was disabled, it totally messed me up. Alright, well two can play at that game, so I'm gonna go ahead and Dynamax. I just realized my Mewtwo is a six IVs? That's rare. Don't forget about being able to change a Pokemon's nature with those mints and hyper training. So if you have a Pokemon that has one stat that's not perfect, but all the other stats are perfect, you can hyper train it at Rose Tower. But you need to use those uh, bottle caps. David Alark is getting mad, guys. All right, here we come. Let's see what happens here. This, I think this, this actually could be the very last battle. And uh, there it is, Dynamax, Dragapult. Oh, it looks like Dragapult's going first and using Max Phantasm. Pikachu, oh, uh, Pikachu, <laughs> fake Pikachu, Mimikyu takes a big hit, and defense falls, looks like another Max Phantasm, Dragapult's taking the hit this time, Dragapult going down to about half HP, You and it's shiny, I would love to see that thing in battle, alright, Dragapult, 
The reason I took Dragapult out instead of uh, my Hydrogen is because my Dragapult actually has a really great speed stat. So it's so fast, and a lot of times, to win a Pokemon match, you have to be the first one. You know, if you're not the first one to move, uh, a lot of times it just doesn't work out well for you. Alright, using Shadow Sneak, really good strategy there, considering Shadow Sneak has a plus one on speed. Dragapult retaliating with a max Phantasm, and that's going to do Mimikyu in. If Mimikyu had done a Sword Stance, it would have been a different story, as I would have been way hit way more hard with all those attacks if Mimikyu had pulled off a Sword Stance. Alright, last Pokemon is going to be Pennywise, an Ultra Beast. That's a shiny Ultra Beast. That thing looks so cool. I honestly don't even know what typing that is. It's a it's a candy type Pokemon. It looks literally looks like a candy, like a lollipop candy, whatever. All right, so here we go. What is what what typing is that Pokemon? Yeah, no legendaries. You're like it's a Hackmon. That's a legit Pokemon. It's a um. What do they call them? Uh, it's a beast. Ooh, taking a hard hit, going down to the red. Alright, rebuttal with the Psychic, and Dragapult goes down. It's an Ultra Beast. That's what it is. Alright, looks like its special attack has risen. And I'm down to my final Pokemon here. It's Hydreigon. Hydreigon? Let's end its suffering. Dark Pulse. It's a fire something kind of Pokemon. Alright, who's going to go first? Blacephalon? Or Hydreigon? Whoever goes first is probably going to finish out this battle. This is it. The final strike. Who's going to hit the final strike? Is it going to be Blacephalon? Or will it be Hydreigon using Dark Pulse? Blacephalon taking the hit. What a beautiful Pokemon that shiny Blacephalon is. It looks like it's like licorice with like cotton candy. And that is the battle. Guys, GG's in the chat. That was an amazing fight. And I also, I'm really digging your steez. I like that you're all about ghosts and you're wearing the ghost um, outfit. And you even have the ghost like uh, avatar. Like, I love that. And your name is Ghost Gamer. You're all about ghosts. That's super cool. Alright, and without further ado, I think that was everybody. Good games, Ghost Gamer. Here is the list of everybody I fought today. Um, so someone on TikTok, I defeated. Kelly defeated. QT Blaine defeated me. And then, uh, sorry if it's a little blurry. There we go. Uh, Polar Turtle defeated. I uh, defeated everyone else. So the, the three that defeated me today out of 16 battles was Adrian, Pika Plays, and uh, QT Blaine. You guys are in the semifinals, so you don't have to fight until the end. Alright, um, can I battle me for fun? Uh, Charlie is gay, no cap. Do you, are you interested in doing this fight? You're like, I'm in cold. Uh, yeah, you can battle me Thursday. If you don't want to battle me today. Um, I think that's it, right? Is anyone else? He says, I guess I'll lose the, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, uh, Charlie is gay. If you want to battle me, I'll give you a chance. It'll be one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, one, two. Uh, first, let me get through people who have not fought me yet. And I believe I thought that was the last one, the last one, but I guess we have one last person that wants to get in in on a battle with me. So it's one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, one, two. This should be the last segment of the bonus round. It's a fire something, yeah, right, Niche Bro? How lucha? One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, one, two.
Yeah, thanks, Niche, bro. I appreciate that. After this, we're going to play some Animal Crossing um, and then Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So if you have any of those games, you can uh, feel free to join us, uh, Niche, bro. Definitely do check out my Discord. It's in the profile information. It's also in the description on the uh, YouTube Live. Oh, uh, Charlie is gay, no cap. You have to make sure you're connected to the internet. If you're not connected to the internet, uh, I'll show you how that works. Press Y button, bottom right hand corner. If it says local communication, it means you're connected. If it says connect to the internet, oh yeah. All right, there you go, buddy. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, so I should be fighting Charlie is gay, no cap as the final person in the bonus round challenge. You can't battle till your mom gets off work? That's fine. On Thursday, I, I might not start till 7.30 anyways. It's not working. Load new stamps. Here, I'll put in the code again. Link battle. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, one, two. Oh, you don't have those games, Niche Bro? Niche Bro, which games do you have for the Nintendo Switch? I'm just curious. I got somebody. Guys, if you have Joy-Con Drift, all you have to do is send your controllers to Nintendo. Uh, just call Nintendo's customer service and um, tell them that uh, you've never damaged it and it just automatically got Joy-Con Drift. They'll give you information to send your uh, Joy-Con to them for free. They'll send you a shipping label. Um, and then you can send your uh, Joy-Con to Nintendo. Nintendo will take them, they'll fix them or replace them and send them back to you. Uh, so if you have any Joy-Con drift, even on uh, Pro Controllers, uh, I literally sent all my Pro Controllers to Nintendo. They sent them all back to me fixed. I sent all my Joy-Con. As you can see, I actually like have tons of Joy-Con. I sent them all to Nintendo. They sent them all back fixed. You literally only have like, you get, okay. Oh boy. No legendaries, no mythicals. Just so you know. Alright, if you chose the wrong Pokemon, let's start this battle and then I'll quit the battle and then we'll start it again. It's okay. I'll fix it. Don't do anything, okay? I'll fix this. Oh, he said, sorry, I got, the, I got the Nintendo for Christmas. Oh, you just got the Nintendo for Christmas, Niche, bro? That's cool. Um, do you have any games for it, though? Do you have, like, Mario Kart or... Um, uh, well, you get a lot of different games. Cole, stop saying that stuff. So we're gonna run, run. Oh yeah, you only have three games: uh, Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Shield, uh, and then uh, and Mario Rabbit Kingdom. Oh, I like Pokemon Rabbit, uh, Mario Rabbit Kingdom. That's cool. It's like a very um, 
what is it? It's, it's a very strategy based game. Alright, let's try this again, Logan. Yeah, after this, guys, we're going to take a break. I suggest you go eat your dinner, and then we'll come back and play the after games. After games today are going to be um, Animal Crossing and then Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So if you'd like, uh, make sure to come back and for those. Uh, it won't let you use any other Pokemon. Uh, just go to the part. Just re, re <laughs> You can create your team right there. Put a box together. Register Pokemon. You know the button where you can register Pokemon, Logan? Register a team for me. Create a team. Register it. Oh, Phantom Force negates protect? Oh, it's like Brick Break then, huh? They're bad though. That's fine, Charlie. Let's just let's just battle it out for fun. All right, whatever happens, happens. And tell you the truth, I fought 16 people and only three people defeated me. So don't feel bad. Just have fun and participate. This is the final battle, so let's get it started. So we can finish it. Charlie, I would really appreciate you starting the battle for me, though. Uh, yes, you can use G-Max, D-Max, Ultra Beasts. Uh, you just can't use Legendaries and Mythicals. It's the only thing you can't do. Oh, because Phantom Force goes behind the Pokemon, not in front. Oh, that's smart. I didn't think about that. Oh man. Alright. I'm gonna help you, Charlie. We're gonna do this one more time, okay? Because this is the last battle, and I need to go eat dinner, so. Alright, we got a link battle. Put in the code again. Uh, no, I don't care that you're on my live. I, I prefer you on my live, guys. So if, if you guys want to record or do whatever you want, let, that, that's fine, too. It's fine. Uh, just know that everything I do on the YouTube live will get recorded basically forever. So if you want to see the battles I had today with other people, uh, check out the YouTube live, the recording of it. Um, and you'll see what everybody was using today. All right, here it is. Charlie, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, one, two. I'll show you how to get your Pokemon out. You're like, nah, Berserk. Ooh, an attack Sheninja? One time I had a friend who used Sheninja against me, and I, I didn't know anything about Wonder Guard. And he destroyed me with Wonder Guard, because um, if you have Sheninja and it has Wonder Guard, and you give it something else too, there's something else you have to give it, the only way you can hurt Sheninja is with the super effective attack. Otherwise, you can't even hurt Sheninja. There's a link to my YouTube in my profile. If you go to YouTube.com and you go to the search function, put these three words and you'll find it. Professor, Evergreen, Pokemon. Put those three words, you'll definitely find my YouTube. Professor, Evergreen, Pokemon. Oops, I was going to show you how to fix your team, but you can register your team at that one point. You ready? All right. Hey, what's up, fam?
Okay, here we go. Yeah, guys, the link to my um, YouTube is in my profile. Also, if you want to just go to YouTube.com, put in the search bar, Professor Evergreen Pokemon. Three separate words. All right, looks like we're starting with a Tyrantrum. Hydrogen's jumping out there. All right, I'm gonna Dynamax right off the bat. Oh, heavy duty boots. That makes it so that um, the heavy duty boots makes it so if you jump in, any traps won't get you, right? Like um, steel spike or like the, the, what is it, spikes or poison poison spikes won't get you. You're like, hi, I was on your TikTok. What's up, Daniel? 810, right? Daniel 810. All right, Tyrantrum takes a huge hit. It's super effective. And Hydrogen's defense has risen. Don't worry, you're doing your best. And this is how you get better. The more battles you do, the better you, the better you get at this game. So you keep doing more battles. Win or lose, you always gain experience. You get better every time. The battle's not over yet. Ooh, Cinderace with the double kick. It's super effective. Hydrogen with the max warm wind. Takes a Cinderace down to the red zone. Cinderace. Attack has fallen for Cinderace. And using Max Wormwind one more time to finish off this second Pokemon. I'm seeing a double kick here. Super effective against Hydrogen. Guys, this is the very last battle here in the bonus round of Professor Evergreen's Evergreen Cup number four. Is it on the center time? Guys, after this, we're going to take a 25-30 uh, minute break. Then we'll come back for the after games and call it a night. If you're wondering what the after games are, we're going to play Animal Crossing and visit someone's island. Um, then after that, we're going to play Smash Bros, do some King of the Hill, and then end off with a gentleman's match. If you've never done a gentleman's match in uh, Super Smash Bros, basically, you have to be Donkey Kong. Let me see what's going on here for a second. Yeah, you have to be Donkey Kong. You have, everybody gets to charge your DK punch one time in the beginning of the battle, and then you fight. So that means when the battle starts, don't hit anybody. Press B, and it'll charge your attack. He says, hey, person using the Cinderace, want to train with me? Uh, whoever this is that I'm fighting, this is Charlie's Gay No Cap. Somebody on the YouTube side of things is asking if they want to train with you because they also uh, are a Cinderace person. So somebody's actually rooting for Charlie's Gay No Cap. Saying that they're a Cinderace fan and they want to train with you. Niche Bro, the person is called Charlie's Gay No Cap on TikTok, if you want to find them. And Charlie's Gay No Cap on TikTok, the person is named Niche Bro on uh, YouTube. I'll even show you, check it out. This is the the YouTube chat for the YouTube stream. As you can see on YouTube, you can see the entire battle, including me. That's what the YouTube looks like for those of you on my YouTube. And then you can see in the chat here, somebody says, uh, "Hey, person using Cinderace, wanna wanna train with me?" See, that's Niche Bro. All right, back to the battle here. Pokedant 810. Max Flutterby. It's super effective. Hydrogen goes down. Alright, next we're taking out um, Toxapex. And Sanaconda gets shrunken back down again. Toxapex uses Baneful Bunker, hoping to get a physical attack from an, uh, from Sanaconda. Sanaconda using Scorching Sands? Toxapex protecting itself? That must have been a special attack. 
Never forget stab. Yeah, you're right. I should have used uh, the dragon attack first because it's stab. Guys, do you know what stab means in Pokemon? Basically, if you have a fire type Pokemon and use a fire type move, uh, fire type Pokemon are more efficient at using fire type moves. So it, it creates stab, which means that it, it does extra damage. If your Pokemon evolves and it's still fire type and uses a fire type move, that's a double stab. And it is possible to get a triple stab. All right, let's go to um, Vino Shock here. See if I can do a little bit of damage. Scale Shot. All right, I get hit three times. Looks like defense has fallen and speed is rising for um, Sanaconda. Sanaconda Sand Pit. Ooh, a Sandstorm kicked up. You know, I was going to bring Mimikyu out, but maybe I should not bring Mimikyu out because a Sandstorm will destroy the decoy. That's one of those little things you have to know about your Pokemon. Like, if you've got Mimikyu and you try and bring it out during a Sandstorm, you're basically wasting its decoy. Oh, Scent of Scorch can learn Scorching Sands. All right, I'd say... Oh, I got burned. Toxapex getting burned. Not a bad battle, I'll tell you the truth. Like, um, if I didn't surprise you in the very beginning with my shock and awe technique of Dynamaxing and using straight power in the beginning, um, this could have been a crazier battle. But luckily, I managed to survive through it. And I believe this Venushock should be the nail in the coffin. And it is. Good game, good game. Charlie, you did it. You did really good. And I'm glad I, I did not take you lightly. Um, because I kind of felt like you were just saying that to kind of throw me off. And that you're actually really powerful. Which you actually were really powerful. If I had taken, if I had taken it easy, you would have beat me. But luckily, I took you seriously. And, you know... So yeah, guys, this is that point where I go ahead and, um, as one. Alright, Calyrex, if you really want to destroy this Pokemon, give it the Astral Barrage. Okay, guys, time for the break. Uh, let's see what time it is right now. It's, um, 8.58. Um... Let's meet back up here at 9.30. It's basically 9 o'clock right now. So uh, I might come back a little earlier, uh, but probably not later. So 9.30 is going to be the time that we're meeting back up here, guys. Uh, so take a break. Go eat some food. Use the bathroom. Take a shower. Whatever you got to do. Talk to your parents. Uh, talk to your kids. Whatever. Talk to your friends. Talk to your family. Um, A tin of beans. Yes, do everything. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you in 30 minutes. Take your break. Go do what you got to do. Break a leg. And I'll see you back here at 9.30. Right now, it's 9 o'clock my time. You have to get ready for bed at 9.30 Eastern. Take your... Well, it's easy, Pikachu, man. Take your Nintendo Switch in your hand. Put it... Get under the covers and play your Switch. Literally, it's a portable console. You're playing G Asphalt 9? Nice. All right, guys. So, um... Thank you to everybody who participated in the tournament. Uh, thank you to everybody who made it to the semifinals too. Uh, Thursday will be the next live. 
7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursday. It's going to be later than usual. Uh, your parents take them. No. <laughs> Tell your parents you need to study for the tournaments. Uh, but at least you made this part. If you can't make the after game, I'm sorry. Uh, Pikachu Man, I'll definitely make you a priority next time we do our after games. So uh, this is all I got for now. I got to go eat some food just like everyone else. So uh, I'm not ending the live. The live is not ending. But the live is going on a break. So I'll be back at 9.30, guys. We'll play some Animal Crossing, play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. If you can't make it, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Pikachu Man uh, 64 for being awesome. Uh, before I leave, though, guys, I will be opening a pack of Pokemon cards here for you. So let's get to the opening. Um, we're looking at Pikachu or Charizard. Pikachu or Charizard, who's it going to be? Say less, Charizard. All right. Coming. I just heard the dinner bell, so I got to get going, guys. Uh, this is the Benzai 10, the mystical sword that I use in order to uh, get lucky pulls. Swing, swing, swing. All right, here we go. Quick pulls. This is for Pikachu Man, so at least you get something cool before you have to go to bed. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Alright, so... Out of this one, I would really love to get a Shiny Charizard or a VMAX Charizard. That's the dream though, right? Okay, so here we go. This is the code. Alright guys, give me some luck in the chat if you can. Give me some luck, some four-leaf clovers. Give me some four-leaf clovers in the chat if you can. Uh, here come the pulls. This is Champion's Path. This is the one that has a really cool Charizard card inside. Uh, starting off with uh, Darkness Energy. Then we've got a B Drill. Then we've got a, um, a Hatcher Knee. Moving on along, we've got a Milo. This guy is very strange. Then we've got a, um, a Weedle. Weedle's the next one. It's one of them toy Pokemon in their reality cards. And then uh, Linoon. There's Linoon. Next Pokemon is going to be a uh, Carvanha. Carvanha. There it is. Followed by a Swablu. I love Swablu, especially Shiny Swablu in Pokemon Go. Always a treat to find. Next, we've got a Sizzlepeed. This thing looks angry. It's an angry Sizzlepeed. Looks upset. I don't know what happened to him. So I must have thrown water on him, and now he's upset. Yes, Lady Luck is the name of my sword. Thank you for saying for putting that in the chat. Reverse Hollow is the Reverse Hollow because actually, uh, it's a Hollow um, Energy card, which are rare. I love getting Hollow Energy cards. And the final card is going to be a holographic Marnie. But it's not the full art and it's not the rainbow rare. Just a regular holographic Marnie. She's really cool. I like her. And you know who really likes her? Um, Team Yell. Because as you know, she is basically like the leader of Team Yell along with her brother. Uh, thank you so much guys for being here. This was the poll. It was a holographic Marnie. But I think the coolest thing I got from this was the... This is the really cool um, holographic uh, water energy card. I think this is the best thing I got from this thing. The water energy card. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in 30 minutes. Time for me to go eat. Uh, till next time. You said Marnie's your girlfriend? Yeah, right? She's everybody's waifu, man. Everybody's waifu is Marnie. All right, I'll see you guys. I'm going to flip this around. All right, and I'll catch you guys later.
Alright, so I just want to come back and tell you guys I need 5 or 10 more minutes and I'll be right back, right? 5 or 10 more minutes, so we're getting started in just a second. Right back.
All right, I'm back for real this time, guys. Sorry about that. All right, Animal Crossing. Let's go ahead and put Animal Crossing in. All right, guys, if you're interested in um, having us visit your Animal Crossing island, go ahead and um, let me know in the chat by giving me a number 1 through 20. You cannot be the same number as someone else. So like I said, if you want your island visited, uh, put in uh, a number 1 through 20 in the chat. You'll be watching over. Okay. All right. So just a cup of Joe's number 12. All right. So we got Joe is 12. We've got CXX trying to 17. For my time, it's 644. Oh my goodness. Oh, Adrian is number seven. And then um, that's what we have so far. If anybody wants us to uh, visit your island, go ahead and give me a number 1 through 20. We got uh, Joe is number 12. CXX Trion is number 17. And then um, Adrian is number 7. Uh, are we ready, uh, we ready to visit? You said... Um, Oh, you're, I, you're, Kakagurui animation, it's hard to read what you wrote there. You said, we ready to visit my, I am not, so no, I'm not with anybody to visit my island right now. I'm not really sure what that all means. Uh, take my YouTube request as number 18, just a cup of Joe. Let me see your YouTube stuff. Oh, oh, okay. Ha! <laughs> Okay, I'll make that number 18. Minecraft 18. That's fine. I'll do that. Um, said you're hunting Prankster Riolu and it's painful. Prankster Riolu? Is it Prankster Riolu? Oh, Kakegurui Animation will be number 12. Alright guys, so I have... 1, 2, 3... Uh, David Alarka, if you want me, if you want us to visit your island, uh, give me a number one through twenty. If you want to join, if you want us to uh, visit your island, give us a number one through twenty. I have Kakagurui animation is twelve, Minecraft is eighteen, Adrian is seven, CXX Trian is seventeen, and Joe is twelve. All right, David Alarka is number eleven. All right, looks like, um, hey, thanks for the likes, guys, and um, on the um, YouTube side of things. Oh, Peyton, you want to be number 10? Okay. All right, so here is the list of roles. Joe is number 12, CX Sax is number 17, Adrian, number 7. Uh, Minecraft, someone on, uh, is number 18. Uh, Kakaguri Animation, 12. David is number 11. Peyton is number 10. This is for whose island we're going to visit today. Alright, so let's see whose island we're going to visit today. Where's my... 1d20. I know I keep that dice around here somewhere. All right, I gotta find that 1d20 for a second. A 1d20 is a one dice with 20 faces. Where's that dice? There it 
All right, so I've got a dice in my hand here. Yeah, <laughs> me who has a double chance. That's fine. If you're if you're on both streams, then you get a double chance. All right, here we go. Here's the dice roll. Seven. That's somebody's. That's Adrian. Adrian got it. Oh, you're getting it for your birthday? Hey, Peyton, when you uh, when you get Animal Crossing for your birthday, invite us all to your island, and we'll help you uh, build your island by giving you by giving you gifts and stuff. Wonder cosplay, what's up? So, Adrian, um, uh, Santizoa, sixty-one. We're coming to your island. Go ahead and make a dodo code so that we can come to your island, Adrian. I'll, I'll bring the I'll bring the gold nuggets with me. Uh, so if I owe you some gold nuggets, um, just make sure you, you go to the island. So yeah, um, Adrian, go ahead and make that dodo code for us, and um, we'll come over. Look at these rainbow feathers. Time to put all the stuff from the festival in my storage. Did you guys play Festival? Did you get these um, these rainbow feathers? Festival parasol. Gotta make sure I have a lot of space in my stuff here. Yeah, guys, get ready if you're if you're playing um, Animal Crossing. Um, Adrian is going to be opening up uh, his island, so we're going to visit Adrian's island. Uh, make sure you have enough tools to get around the island, like a ladder or a pole vaulting stick. So let's go ahead and take out some stuff here. All right, I got my stuff. Hey, that's fine, Adrian. Guys, if you're going to Adrian's island, um, you might want to consider bringing Adrian a gift so that Adrian can build his island up more. David Alarco, you said you've got something? Oh, let's see who's visiting my town. I wonder if it's um, somebody from somebody's island. An animal from somebody's island. No, get that frog out of here. He can stay in there. Only bunnies and cats are allowed on my island. Only bunnies and cats. And if you don't believe me, look at my um my oops. My villager list. Look at my villager list. They're all bunnies and cats. All cats and bunnies. See? Cats and bunnies, bunnies and cats. That's only what's allowed in my town. All right, so yeah, Adrian, go ahead and make us that dodo code. And we'll head on over. Yeah, via online play, Adrian. It's either online play or local play. And since we're not next to you, it's gonna have to be online. Oh, my favorite villager. It's Chrissy. You said, who is Rex? I'm going to check. Oh, so you got somebody new. You said, no. <laughs> I 
Wonder cosplay. No, you're supposed to like when somebody's packing up. You're supposed to try and get someone to um, move into that spot. Uh, by either using your Nook Miles and in visiting them on islands, or you can um, replace them using uh, the amiibo cards. All right, there it is. Seven F G F zero. Seven F G F zero. All right, so the Dota code is seven F, oops, F G F zero. Looking for islands you can visit? Looks like we have a flight for Munyanyo. Is that where you wanted to go? Let's fly. Let's go to Munyanyo. Munyanyo. Guys, the code, uh, sir, come to mind, please. Oh, if only. Maybe we'll come to yours next, uh, Minecraft dude. 695. Oh no, looks like we're getting interference. What kind of interference could it be? Oh, who has shooting stars? Oh, it looks like somebody's flying over right now, so we gotta wait. This part's always tough because we gotta like take a minute to see. As soon as they, as soon as they land, I can I can fly over. Nope, can't fly over yet. Gotta keep waiting. I'm getting some interference. Try again. Uh, who has the shooting stars? Oh, it's Binks. Is the island is the island that we're going to? Is Adrian's island have shooting stars? Is Celeste there? Guys, the code is uh, seven F G F zero. Guys, make sure that if you visit the island that you don't open up your chat or anything like that. Let other people land. People can't land on your island if you have your chat open or if you're looking at something. Like, close everything. Let people land on the island first. And then you can open up your um, inventory and, and chat with people and stuff like that. So, there you go. I'm on the way. There's the code, guys. It's uh, 7FGF0. So... I'll see you guys on Adrian's Island.
And I'm landing. Looks like Joe's arriving from the land of Pokemon. Ooh, Juan. Welcome, Juan. You gotta go do some work? That's fine. Everybody's gotta do, got work to do, you know? You should probably go take care of that work. <coughs> oh, Cole, you need to go. Guys, would you like me to open another pack of cards while waiting for everybody to join the island? <sighs> Somebody quietly left. Just as a heads up, guys, um, don't quietly leave because if you quietly leave, um, there's a good chance you could kick everybody off the island. And um, not only that, but anything that we may have like traded or picked up or something like that is lost. Or just go back, it goes back to where it was originally. So um, try not to leave quietly. If you can, try and leave through the actual airport. I even did an experiment to see if this was true. And it was. And the people who, that's how I messed up with the whole Golden Nuggets thing. Oh, someone's on the right here. All right, guys. <sighs> I'm going to go see my um, hair cutter lady because um, I missed I missed my last appointment. That's why my hair looks really crazy. Let me record this. So yes, I'm going to open up another pack of cards while we're waiting for everybody to join the island. So here it is. Um, let's do this thing. Swing. Swing. And just so you know, I will be opening up um, Vivid Voltage. This is the one. This time, um, if you guys can, let, let's see some rainbows in the um, in the chat. If you got the rainbows, because I would love to get a rainbow rare. That's kind of like my goal for this one, or or the four leaf clover that works too. All right. So first, here's the code card. For those of you who play the online game, Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, thank you so much for the four leaf clovers. There's your code and the rainbows. Shishing. Ooh, there's already uh, something wrong with the back part here of the last card. Alright. So, get ready. The first card is Darkness Energy, followed by Opal, Bay. Uh, we've got Duat. Don't forget that um, with these cards, you can also get Amazing Rare, which is the second to last card. Weedle, Talo, Sandile, Oshawott, Pineco, Sableye, and the last card is, ooh, Zeraora. Check out this cool Zeraora card. Hey, I'll take it. In fact, I'll make this card, this Zero Aura card, will be the card that you win if you um, win the fourth uh, Evergreen Cup. So if you win the fourth Evergreen Cup, I'll give you this Zero Aura card, uh, along with uh, the certificate and some other cool swag. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. I won't forget. If I, if I forget some, if I forget about the Zero Aura, just remind me that that's the card. Say the holographic Zero Aura card. That's the one you promised. Yeah, Zara Aura is such a cool Pokemon. Alright. 
So I'm gonna go ahead, let's flip this camera back around. And here we are on someone's island that's packed with people now, so. Uh, guys, if you could do me a huge favor and um, leave a message for Adrian on message on Adrian's board. Let me see where Adrian's board even is. Oh, it's north of here. So yeah, find Adrian's board like you see in my screen right here. And then uh, leave Adrian a message. It's always nice to do this in someone's town because they find it later and it's like a little little secret easter egg. Alright, what Pokemon should I draw for, uh, for this island, guys? Give me a Pokemon and I'll draw it from memory. It'll be terrible because I can't really draw that well in this thing. Like, okay, I'll battle you Thursday. Alright, Peyton, I'll battle, you, I'll battle you Thursday for the bonus. Charizard? I did Charizard. Settle? Pikachu? What's Settle? Oh, uh, Skeptile? Charizard? Pikachu? Victini? Celebi? Riolu. Victini. You're like, please, Victini. All right, all right, I'll do Victini. Since there's a lot of passion behind Victini, I'll do Victini. Uh, so I know Victini has a big V-shaped on its head. So I'm going to go start with that part. Yeah, you know, Victini is a rare move. The move is called V-Create. And it is possible to get a Charizard with that move. I mean, not a Charizard, a, um, a Rayquaza with that move. Oops, that was bad. Let me redo that one. I know I know that uh, Miss Silver actually has a Rayquaza with V-Create. Alright, we're going to create this one like that. I mean, is it like a little like round head? I should probably do the eyes first. All right. Oh, I can lock. All right. So, where was I drawing this Pokemon? Oh yeah, Victini. Oh uh, yeah, Victini has these little arms. That's not good. Yeah, there we go. Bushy legs. And then, once again with these arms. And he's got, Victini's got these little fingers. I'm going to make it having the peace sign. Peace sign, Victini. Alright, what else? The Victini part of its head here, I feel like it needs to be fixed. There, yeah. So there's Victini. Victini actually has a, a double tail. It's got wings on. Well, first I need to do Victini's feet. So let's do the feet. Victini's feet. Hey, what's up? Uh, hello, Nukes. We're playing uh, Animal Crossing right now. We're visiting someone's island. And I'm drawing a Pokemon on somebody's, um, on somebody's wall. Now time for the tail. This thing has like a double tail, which I, which actually look like wings. All right, I'm done. There's a the Victini. Voila. Finished product. Not too bad. 
There's some lag. All right, there you go. Yeah, guys, go ahead and write on the board for me. That way, Adrian has like a little, a little surprise. Oh, hey, what's up? You said, hey, what are we doing on Thursday? Uh, on Thursday, uh, we're going to do more of the tournament, and then we're going to have some fun after-game stuff. Uh, tonight, we're playing some Animal Crossing, visiting someone's island, and uh, then we're going to play some Smash and duke it out, settle it in Smash. Ooh, I got a damsel fly. Damsel in distress fly. Oh yeah, um, guys, including especially Adrian, if you're paying attention, Adrian, press ZL and then go into your menu here, Adrian. And you want to uh, go right, go to the one that has two heads right there, best friends list. Um, this is for everybody. I need you to go and um, go to all. And don't forget to um, send a best friend request. Send me a best friend request. Like Adrian, I'm going to ask to be best friends there. Close. And anyone else? When someone's your best friend, they can do stuff to your island like they can dig holes or they can chop down trees or participate in stuff better. Uh, it just gives us more access to your island. If Celeste is on this island, I definitely want to uh, check out Celeste. Are there shooting stars? Let me see. Just so you know, you cannot pray on a shooting star or uh, wish on a shooting star if you have an item in your hand, like a, a ladder. You can also hear shooting stars. So if you use your ears, you can always hear one as it starts. So I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit just so I can hear the shooting stars better. All right, I want to know where your where your hidden island is. Oh, it's that way. All right, let's go to your hidden island. All right, am I his best friend yet? I sent you a best friend request. Come on, Adrian, accept my best friend request. I have your nuggets, guys. I have your nuggets. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide some nuggets um, for Adrian to discover one day, just on the beach. Adrian's gonna be like, "What the heck? There's nuggets. There's golden nuggets on the beach. Thirty of them. How is that possible? How did that happen?" It's because I left it there for you, Adrian, to find one day and to help build your island. All right, let's join the rest.
Ooh, who's gonna be here? Construction box one. Where is Adrian anyways? Everybody make sure that, yeah, please, uh, please stop by the message board here. If you stop moving, I don't know how you guys set yours. You can turn this off if you want. I leave it on. Uh, but you know how I'm moving? If you stop moving for a second, a little map will appear. And if you look at this map here, um, yeah, I'll turn it over. You can see little symbols like the pink house. That's the main house. Um, the yellow houses, those are uh, villager houses. The museum, the store, the airport, it lets you know where you are. So it's always good to stop for a second. You can see where the town center always is. So come down here. Whenever you visit someone's town, it's always nice to leave a message. Um, it's like a little surprise for them. Oh no, I don't know what the original filter is. There no filter. Okay, normal. There we go. You saw Celeste? Let's go find Celeste. I don't know where Celeste is. She could literally be anywhere on the island. Oh, and I found her immediately somehow. Here we go, Celeste. She's on the bottom right. All right, you're like, um, okay. You're like, why am I here? What's up, Cole's brothers? See so yeah, ya, guys. After after uh, Animal Crossing, we're gonna play Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. If you've been training then now would be the time to show me your skills. Show me your skills. Oh, show me your moves. Um, all right, guys, let's meet in the town center and let's have a little, a little, a little contest. Town center meeting, town center meeting. Also, if I owe you a, um, if I owe you some gold, the nuggets, I got the nuggets right here. So if I was supposed to give you nuggets, um, here, here are your nuggets now. Because I know last time I gave it to you and then something happened and then um, I took your nuggets somehow. So if I owed you nuggets, uh, come get your nuggets. Hopefully everybody that needed their gold nuggets got their n gold nuggets. Uh, just a cup of Joe, you can grab these gold nuggets right here. Hey, what's up, uh, Sprite Cranberry? Guys, if you're looking for Celeste, um, if you guys don't have Celeste, I'll show you where Celeste is. Go this way. If you don't know where Celeste is, I'll take you to her. Oh, you got some gold? All right, good. Wait, that's not Celeste. That's an elephant. Here's Celeste. Now we can get that recipe from her if you don't have all the star recipes yet. I think we should go find a good spot to go and stargaze. If everybody's filled up on gold, I'll take that gold back. All right, come meet me in the town center. Meet me in the town center. We're, we're gonna play a game. Does, does everybody have a fishing rod? Show me your fishing rods. I have a timer. Yes, everybody come in the center, show me your fishing rods. That's four of us. Is that everybody here? I believe there's somebody else here on this island.
All right, take out your fishing rod. We're gonna do a little contest, a little fishing contest. It's gonna be short though. Once I see him take out a fishing rod, we'll be good to go. Stay inside the um, the town center. There we go. Do you have a fishing rod? Yours broke? Does anyone have an extra fishing rod? What? Alright, never mind then, never mind. We're not gonna play, we're not gonna do that then. Instead, um, this person, it, it seems like Adrian is super new to the game. So go ahead and just drop some stuff for Adrian, I guess, if you really think Adrian could use it. So I'm gonna drop a bunch of stuff for Adrian. He doesn't even have um, a fishing rod, for goodness sakes. Here you go, Adrian, take all that stuff. Instead, let's go stargaze. Let's leave all the stuff for Adrian to take. Adrian, I also hid some, I hid some gold on your island. So uh, you gotta find the gold that I hid on your island somewhere, Adrian. It's not buried or anything, it's on the ground, but it's on a secret beach. You gotta find the secret beach on your island and then you'll find what you're looking for. Let's go stargaze, guys. Let's go find, let's go get some shooting stars. Alright, so if Celeste is on this island, um, that means that you can fly me to the moon. <laughs> no, but for real. Um, you can try and get some shooting stars here. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, Adrian, if you're holding an item, you won't be able to uh, wish upon the star, so you have to put the item away. There it is! Wish upon it, wish upon it! Oh, nobody got it. Except for me. Here's what you do. When you hear the sound of the wish- There it is! Press it. Press it. There was two that time, there was two. Press A when you see it. There it is. Another one. Wish upon it. Wish upon it. Get ready for another shooting star. They're really firing tonight. Sometimes you get multiples at a time. So get ready for like doing two, you know. Which means that um, so long as nobody quietly leaves, because when you quietly leave, it kind of like, unless the game's saved from somebody else leaving, um, it messes everything up. Sometimes it doesn't though, but usually it does. I even did an experiment and, and, and it, that's how I lost the gold. <laughs> that's how I took the gold from everybody because I tested it out and yes, it's bad. Don't quietly leave or quietly kick everybody out. All right, so here we go. Um, yeah, press the A button when you see the shooting star. Let's do a couple more. And maybe um, roll the dice, visit one more person's island, and then play some Smash Call at night. You're like, this is the greatest plan. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Cole, uh, Cole's brothers. You gotta be patient with these. And you can always hear the shooting star too. You gotta use your ears. Whenever I'm fishing in this game, I, I close my eyes. Um, the reason why is because when I use my eyes, it like messes me up sometimes. I keep thinking, you know, like right when it's gonna hit, you know, it's it's not gonna make the sound or whatever. Uh, so, but if you just listen, 
then all you can do is either hear the sound or not hear the sound. So fishing with your ears in this game works a lot better for me. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, need more shooting stars. So tomorrow, um, tomorrow, if you check your beaches, you guys should see if you wished upon a star, the next day on your beach, you'll find um, the shooting stars washed up on the shore. There's big, there's giant shooting stars, or there's big ones or whatever, and then there's regular sized ones. And then there's also the kind that are like um, the different, um, you know, there's like the Aries, the Taurus, the Cancer, and um, all those other signs. So there's all kinds of stuff that happens after you wish upon a star. You just got to make sure that you log in the next day or the next morning, or whatever. Check all your beaches and you'll find all the shooting stars washed up. The big ones are rare. And you can make really cool stuff with it. Man, no more shooting stars. So I haven't seen any. It was cool we got those shooting stars for the ones that got it. Did anyone not get the shooting star? Well, so long as Celeste is here... Um, there's going to be shooting stars. Uh, we just don't know when it's going to happen. It's, it's pretty random. Monyano. Monyano. What'd you say to me? Monyano. You put a biscuit on my face with that. Monyano. I'm going to Monyano. Monyano. You better stop. Munyanyo! Alright, Munyanyo. Munyanyo. Man, watch, as soon as we walk away, there's gonna be a shooting star. <laughs> You're right next to Celeste. Oh, please close the window. Oh, look at your vid. Yeah, I'll check out your vid, Cole. On tickety talk. Joe is going home. Safe travel. Alright, guys, let, let's go check out Joe's Island real quick and then let's play Smash. So, get ready for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Um, I say we just check out Joe's Island super fast, get a taste for it, and then switch games. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at your YouTube video. All right, I'll do that after I'm done streaming on YouTube. Don't forget to join the um, Discord. So, guys, let's make our way back to the airport. If you hear a shooting star, don't forget to press A. Also, one tip is that, uh, one big tip, if you visit other people's islands, um, and usually when they have a full island, one person in their island is usually building something. They can teach you a recipe. I don't think it's the same case if the person only has one or two villagers. Um, but it, but it is the case if the person has, like, a, how is there nobody home but the lights are on? That's so weird. Oh, maybe, yeah, whose house is that? That's not a villager's house. It's like the main person's house. All right. 
time to get out of here. Adrian, I hid. I have 60 pieces of gold for you on your island somewhere. And I left all these um, tools that you can't get in the, until the future. Just because they have cool patterns on them. So enjoy all that stuff. Let's say somebody left you a, a, sweat, a wetsuit. That's nice of them. And a chocolate heart. Uh, enjoy all that stuff. Find the gold that's hidden on your island. And um, keep building your island. Because when we come back, I'm sure we'll see more. I got blocked. All right, let's go visit uh, Joe's Island real quick. All right, Joe, go ahead and create that dodo code for us so we can start jumping over to your island one by one. Oh, there it is, the Dodo Code. It's H R Y J W. H R Y J W. All right. Congratulations once again to the people who made it to the semifinals, which is going to be QT Blaine, Pika Plays, and Adrian. Adrian is the person we just visited their island. Um, they're actually one of the last people to join uh, in the. Um, the bonus round. You can see that right here on this piece of paper. This is a chronological list of um, the people that uh, joined the challenge today. And uh, you can see at the very top here, uh, someone on TikTok was first, Kelly on the sticks, and then uh, QT Blaine managed to take me down, uh, Polar Turtle, and then uh, CXX Tryon, David Alarka, uh, Pika Plays actually managed to take me down. And then we had uh, Pikachu Man, Potato Ostrich, uh, Pokedan, um, we had Joe, uh, this is the Joe we're going to now, uh, Kakagurui animation, and then at the very end, when I thought it was all over, Adrian joins and manages to beat me also. It was really tough. I feel like I could have beat him, but my Tossapex could do zero damage because the uh, the enemy happened to be a steel type, and poison does zero, it has no effect on steel type. So that's insane, so Adrian managed to beat me. Um, and then um, Splatrampa, and then there was Ghost Gamer, and then uh, Charlie's Gain of Cap. So, congratulations to everybody who fought me. Go ahead, you finally, this is a good practice, you know? And if you want to see any of these matches, just go to my YouTube channel, and it's recorded there. Um, you can go back and watch your own match. Uh, everything we did is recorded, and um, good for you to see other people's matches too, so you can see what Pokemon they're using. That video gets uploaded automatically once my stream ends. All right, let's go visit Joe's Island. I'm actually, uh, hey, what's up, uh, Trent the Anime Kid? Uh, I'm actually interested in getting myself a Gengar um, with the Poltergeist move. Uh, G Max Gengar with the Poltergeist move. I have a G Max Gengar, um, and I could hyper train it to make it perfect. Want to fly? So yeah, guys, we're going over to uh, just a couple of Joes here. Go ahead and put in the code for us again uh, in all capitals. Uh, just a couple of Joe. If you can write it in the chat, the code, the Dodo code, in all capitals. Uh, I want to visit somebody. Online play. So guys, get ready because we're going to play Super Smash Brothers Ultimate after this. Uh, we're going to do some King of the Hill. And then we're going to do a gentleman's match to top off the night. Thank you to everybody who's hung on this long. It's been five. It's been over five and a half hours of a stream. All these streams are super long. Let's see. Search for a Dodo code. H-R-Y-J-W. Thank you, Just a Cup of Joe. Hey, we got a fight for Pokemon right now. Let's fly. Uh -oh. 
Ooh, we're getting interference. That's a good thing. That's a good thing because it means that people are going. You said you finally got some shooting stars from the islands. Yeah, guys, make sure you check the beach tomorrow. If you got, if you, if you wished on a shooting star, check the beach, and you will definitely get a shooting star on, uh, showing up on your beach. How many Zara Aura fans? Uh, Zara Aura fans are there out there? Do you guys like Zara Aura? I think Zara Aura is one of the coolest Pokemon. And for the longest time, I swear I thought that was its tail. I thought that was I thought he had a tail, but I, I guess it's not a tail. It's more of like um a scarf made of flesh, I guess. Yeah, right. Literally, like, I was like, oh, it also has such a cool tail, like Pikachu, and I was like, wait, that's not a tail. I turned it around, it was like, coming out from its neck. I was like, what the heck is that thing? I don't know if you guys pay attention to this stuff, but, um, I put these little Pokemon in front of my TV. If you want to take a look at them, I want to visit them real quick and show you the little Pokemon I have. Um, there's, there's Zacian, uh, Mew, Pikachu, Zamazenta, Grookey, Score Bunny, Sobble, Voltorb. The trio again with Mewtwo, second Amiibo, Electrode. And uh, that's my main in Splatoon 2. So if you guys play Splatoon 2, I'm a slosher main. Alright, looks like someone's on the way here. Does anyone here also play Splatoon 2? Because I'd love to get a squad together, a team of four, and uh, play in uh, the league, Splatoon League. You're like, Sans, stop. <laughs> Here comes Binks. I'm not gonna move or anything. I'm just gonna chill and wait till everybody uh, arrives into the island. Uh, guys, once everybody arrives, um, let's go ahead and write on the on the board. But let's wait till everybody uh, lands first, and uh, then we'll go right on the board. Take a quick look at the island and turn on Smash. Uh, just a cup of Joe. Uh, let's wait until everybody has landed. <laughs> the museum is like the first thing that's here. Let's take a look. So I'm going to pause for a second. Let's look at the map here. And it looks like they have a relatively new island also. They have two uh, villagers it looks like. Let's see what villagers they are. So I'm going to go to the map here and it'll tell me what villagers they are. Oh, it's Plucky and Genji. Um, so this is Plucky's house. There's a giant bug in there. Fly me to the moon. All right, let's see. Ooh, I wonder if this if this person also has Celeste on their island because th there's a lot of stars in the sky. Hey, there's Genji. Ooh, I would like to have Genji on my island. Although I'm, I'm planning on getting Tiffany on my island. I just gotta kick out Pippi. Find a way to kick Pippi out.
All right, so let's go to the uh, museum. I wouldn't expect there to be too much in this museum, considering he only has two villagers. So he might be new. Let's take a look anyways. Oh, it says, looks like someone's leaving. Huh, <laughs> Adrian found the hidden gold. There's two hidden golds, Adrian. There's two. So find the second one. You should get a total of 60 pieces of gold. Looks like someone else is leaving. Uh, guys, let's go ahead and, um, oh, Malima, hey, happy birthday, Malima. Guys, just so you know, I got a buddy named um, Malima, and it's her birthday today. Um, if you can wish her a happy birthday, that would be great. She has a podcast. I don't know if you guys listen to podcasts, but, but she has a podcast called um, Poke Problems, along with Miss Silver. So you should check out that podcast, Poke Problems. Happy birthday, Malima Wolf. Malima, thanks for visiting uh, the YouTube live stream. Pika Play says happy birthday. We got people saying happy birthday here for you. Hope you enjoyed the cake. Sorry I couldn't be there. Uh, Trenton also says happy birthday over here. So yes, everybody. Let's go to the airport and let's um, let's go play Smash, guys. Get Smash ready. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, here we come. Oh, Wonder Cosplay, if you've got to go, uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, let's see if Wonder Cosplay is still here. Oh no, Wonder Cosplay already left. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here, Wonder Cosplay. I appreciate you being here. Communication destination locale has been interrupted. Well, that's not good. Make sure, guys, uh, make sure that if, if you, um, I'm not sure what's going on here, but um, it could be that uh, there's a communication error. I don't know. That's not good. All right. Let's go ahead and save and end. Then we're going to play Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. So I'm going to go ahead and make a room. If you want to come play, uh, everyone's welcome to come play. Uh, you still have your golden nugget because I gave that to you on the previous island. So that's good. I'm glad you still have that golden nugget. Adrian, hopefully you find the other one. I'll give you a clue, Adrian. Um, I hid the other stack of golden nuggets on the secret beach. Every single, uh, every single island has a secret beach, and I hid it on yours. All right, Smash Bros. Here we come. Hey, what's up, Mini Purple Crew, mate? You said me excited. Yeah, me excited too. Me so excited. All right, can anybody guess what Pokemon is in this Pokeball? I'm going to light it up. Just so you know, with, with the Pokeball Pluses, um, it's the color of the Pokemon inside. So if it's like a shiny Gyarados, it'll be a red color.
You guessed it. It's Mew. It's Shiny Mew. You hear it? Shiny Mew is inside here. Yep. I got Shiny Mew. There's two ways you can pet its head. You can move it like this slowly. You can also uh, move the joystick in circles slowly. Alright, let me put this thing away. All right, let's see. Uh, <laughs> let's let's name the room Pika plays. All right, Pika plays. All right, here we go. Create the arena. All right, the room code is fifty-five L one B. Once again, that's 55L1B. I did also make it so that you can choose your stage, and I made it so you can choose any stage you want. That's what we're doing different tonight with Smash, is that it's any stage you want. So go ahead and pick your favorite level, and let's see if it lands there. Hmm. There's that new Sephiroth level. I'm going to spectate for a little bit, let you guys duke it out. I'll be at the end of the line. Um, after we play King of the Hill for a while, we'll do a, a gentleman's match. Don't forget, you can pick whatever level you want. So choose your levels, guys. All right, choose your levels. I'm not restricting levels. It's not Battlefield. It's not Final Destination. It's literally the, the actual regular level. So stage hazards are on. Be warned. Stage hazards are on. This is Steve's level. I honestly haven't really played much of uh, Steve's level, but it's already pretty cool. Look at the background. Look at all the detail. If you've played Minecraft, you know, you can really appreciate the, an entire world that can get created by a single person. Oof. There goes Captain Falcon right off the edge. Falcon kicking Rosalina. Rosalina makes it back onto the stage with that up B. Getting grabbed in the air again. Frog. Playing a little bit defensively here. Captain Falcon, that uh, spot dodge went right by him. Alright, trying to stage spike. Captain Falcon using the forward air, forward air, and making it back to the stage with the up B. Captain Falcon unable to recover. Looks like that's the spot that Frog wants to take for this battle. All right, going out there again. Side B, side B, uh, side A, side A, and that is game. Don't feel bad. Frog is actually super good this game, and a force to be reckoned with. So, yeah, go Frog. GG's in the chat. I will say, um, guys, um, one of my favorite things um, is when somebody's like super good. You know, but they're also super humble, you know, they're like good game GG's even though they they won, you know, instead of being like yo in your face Buffalo case instead. They're like that was a fun battle. Let's battle again sometime Three, two, You said let's hope um, oh you want to battle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fight you guys too 
after this battle, um, give me a chance to join the line, okay? Alright, I'll be right back. And that is game. Alright, do not start the next match, please. Um, let's see, look what I said on YouTube chat. YouTube chat. Follow me on TikTok. Alright. Uh, Alright, don't start the next match. Pika plays, do not start it. Just sit there for a second. Okay? Don't start it. Okay, now you can start. What? People are jumping out. Alright, here it comes, guys. Big battle right here. Uh, just a cup of Joe. You want me to follow you on Tickety Tockety? You have 1.5 thousand followers. Loves Pokemon, Minecraft. La di da. I'll follow you just to go for Joe. If anybody wants me to follow them, let me know. I'll follow you. I really don't follow that many people versus the amount of people that follow me, I guess. But since you're here, you know, on TikTok it's considered being friends. If you follow each other, it means you're TikTok friends. So, if that's the case, then I would follow you guys because, um, you know, you're my friends. All right, Pika plays. I'll follow you. You've got 4.5 thousand followers. CXX Tryon, I'll follow you. You have 447 747 followers. Adrian, I'll follow you. You have 1.2 thousand followers. Is he gonna let me? It's not letting me follow. Oh, I've requested too many follows. I've done too many follows in a row. It's not letting me. But once it lets me follow again. I'll follow more of you guys. I guess I'm not allowed to follow too many people in a row. But we're friends. So, um, yeah, why not? I don't have too many friends on TikTok. We've been asked to make some more friends on the Tikki Taka Day. My goal at the end of all this is to create a community of people. So make sure you join my Discord. The Discord link is on the, um, the Facebook stream, it's also on the Facebook, the YouTube live stream. It's also on my profile, so use the Discord uh, link. You might need to actually type it in manually, um, but uh, use that, because then I might not be able to copy paste. Join the Discord, and then you can hang out with all the rest of us who uh, chat and plan stuff out and trade Pokemon and battle together and all that stuff, so. 
Join the Discord. Become part of the group. All right. The Discord name is called uh, Professor Evergreen's Laboratory. It's three separate words. Professor Evergreen's Laboratory. I, I have a link for it in the profile of my TikTok. I also have a link for it in the description of the YouTube live. All right, back to the battle here, and it looks like Frog is overtaking Pika Plays. Pika Plays playing as Ike. Frog playing as Rosalina. These are both very high tier fighting, uh, uh, both high tier playing, uh, I guess, people. They both are really good at Super Smash Brothers. Um, I'd say for certain that not many people are used to fighting Rosalina, and they don't know the dangers that they put themselves in. Like, you should never be directly below a Rosalina because of that down, uh, down area thing. Is it down area or down special? I don't know what it is, but there are some certain places you don't want to be. Uh oh. Pika plays, evens out the match, and just like that, it's one stock to one stock. Alright, Pika plays at 75% damage. Trying to rack up some damage on uh, Frog and successfully doing so. Frog at 47%. Frog falling down to 61% damage. It is almost even Steven. No, and it's not quite the end yet. It looks like Frog makes it back. Doesn't quite understand the attack power. Oh, and is that going to do it? A comeback victory from Pico Plays. Pico Plays was down by two stocks and said, I fight for my friends. I mean, that's what Ike says, right? I fight for my friends. Guys, I'm going to tell you a secret about... Um, if somebody keeps doing the same move over and over again, what you're supposed to do, alright, is completely read them. Alright? When it comes to super high-level play, if you see somebody doing the same move over and over again, that means that they're probably going to do it again. And if they're probably going to do it again, just try different things and see what works against it, you know? But whatever you do, don't keep doing the same thing, you know? Or don't keep falling for it. And, and instead do the opposite. Make them fall for your trick because you know that they're going to do this, that move. It's hard to do and you may take a couple L's, you know, but it's what you got to do sometimes. Now if I remember, Adrian's actually really good at this game. I'm actually scared to fight Adrian because I'm not good at fighting against uh, Joker. Joker's actually one of my weak points. If you guys have any tips on fighting Joker, let me know, because um, I don't get it. Like, what's that thing that Joker gets? That, like, Shinigami? Or whatever that thing is? You're like, what about Minecraft Steve? Yeah, I also don't know how to play against Minecraft Steve, but I don't have any trouble fighting Minecraft Steve. For some reason, I can just beat up Minecraft Steve. Um, but Joker, for some reason, I have always have trouble with Joker. If you guys want to go back and uh, check out your match from earlier uh, during the bonus rounds of the Evergreen Cup number four, uh, check out my YouTube channel. And uh, you can rewind and go back to it. I'll also make sure that it gets saved so that uh, you guys can watch that part later. I'll give you some real insight on the people you'll be up against uh, during the tournament. Oh, Poofles, what's up? He says, hi, I have a 6 IV EV for free if you want to. Oh, that sounds cool. Sure, yeah, I'll trade you for that. Looks like Pika Plays and Adrian are both at two stocks each. Ooh, and just like that, the tables have turned. Pika Plays charged that completely fully, and Adrian landed right in front of it. The timing, though. That timing. No, Adrian.
All right, looks like Pika Plays has a two stock advantage. Pika Plays trying to work the system using very simple tactics, but very useful and powerful tactics. Pika Plays at 129 damage, 132 damage. Adrian at 94. Only difference is uh, Pika Plays is at two stocks and falls off the edge with that aerial with that dash that side special all right now it's down to one stock each uh but if adrian wants to win he's got a lot of homework to do here adrian latching onto the edge all right trying to rack up a little damage there with the downward uh those, with those guns i guess he's shooting guns with his down a Ooh, adrian's got that special thing i don't know what that thing is but it's powerful and I think it can counter. If there's one character that, that would be good or easier to counter, it'd be kind of, uh, I'd say Ike is kind of easy to counter. But don't forget, Ike has a counter of his own. Your Discord is Poofles, and you're in my server. Hey, what's up, Poofles? I'm glad you're in my Discord. What? Somehow. Somehow. Adrian won, and I could have sworn Pika Plays was about to take it. That's crazy. You can never give up. Never give up. Keep fighting to the very end, because you never know what's going to happen. So far, it's been a rotating door. Like, one person wins, then they lose. One person wins, then they lose. Alright, the battle's about to start. Guys, Adrian said that he's not even supposed to be awake, and that's why he's not playing good. Now's your chance to beat Adrian up. Get Adrian. That's motivation right there. Get Adrian while he's weak. Go to sleep, Adrian. <laughs> Cause I don't want to fight that. I'm pretty sure I'm next. So while I don't have any trouble with um, Steve per se, I haven't really fought anybody who's like a Steve expert, you know? So maybe once I fight a Steve, like one one problem I do have with Steve is his um, that lava block he makes above his head. I think that's a little too OP. You know he makes that lava block above his head. I think it's uh, up smash. It's up smash. Like that lava block thing, like can KO. I don't know how you do. It. Is it up up A or up? I don't know up B. Oh, you, oh, so Pika Place knows how to fight against Joker. It's interesting. Oh, okay, Poofles. I'll DM you. Thank you so much. You can DM me too. This is also... I was the one you spent... We spent you. We can go ask me if I have a flash warning. Oh, yeah. Uh, Poofles, what's your flash warning video request, Poofles? I want you to um, let me know on the most recent flash warning video that I made. Post it there, Poofles, and that'll remind me. That'll be the best place to do it. And say exactly that. Hey, I'm the one who spammed you. I highly appreciate that, by the way. Guys, if you ever spam my videos, I highly appreciate the spamming.
All right, looks like Adrian has a big lead here. Three stocks. Joe McD is down to one stock left, and there it goes. Good game. Who's going to stop this guy? Who can stop Adrian? Oh, man. Now that I think about it, I chose the wrong link for this. If I was Big Link, boy. Here we go. Just so you know, the best best player in the world means is Joker. Ah, oh, man. Done and done. Good game. <laughs> Dang, he got me. I'm not good against Joker though. I swear like Joker's like my worst character. Unless I'm Link. I gotta change my character to Adult Link. Gotta get serious now. Oh, Adrian and Daniel are already fighting. Alright, I got back in line. Nate, thanks to everybody who's awake right now. It is getting kind of late. And I, I literally just battled like 17 people or something like that in a row. So I'm pretty exhausted. <sighs> but Adrian is actually super good at playing Joker. If anyone knows how to fight Joker, you know who can beat Joker is Frog. Frog beat Joker last time.
I'm being adult Link now, so hopefully that makes a big difference. You know what I did wrong in the last battle too that I normally don't mess up on is I wasn't using my bombs right. That was my warm-up battle. Well, be careful, Pika plays, because he might actually beat you. He didn't use the right outfit! I'm the same way. If I don't have the right outfit, it just doesn't work for me. Ooh, that was so fast. Oh my goodness. Good game to Daniel. Oh, you just commented? Alright, good. Thank you, Poofles. Alright, looks like Trenton is up next. And we have the Joker versus Samus. I did change my character because I'm a lot better at fighting the Joker with Adult Link than Young Link. He just hits so much harder. Alright, there's Trenton already starting up with the up B. Looks like it's a Samus user, user versus a Joker. Already they're about uh, even starting out here, testing each other's strength. This Joker is um, Joker's World or from whatever like Persona this is from. I don't know how many Persona fans are out there, if anyone's played Persona. Um, I know a lot about it, but haven't really played anything more than like a demo or two. But maybe I should try Persona 5. I heard that you don't have to have played the other Personas to get like the new one. Like they're all like um, separate from each other, I guess so story-wise. If you want to watch the battle, um, on YouTube Live, uh, you can have a better view of the battle because you get the whole screen and you can see me. And there's no, no there's there's delay, of course. Uh, there's always delay, but the lag isn't there. All right, looking pretty even so far. Trenton at 150, Adrian at 152. Either one could pop off right now. Trying to see who's going to be, and there it goes. Looks like Trenton takes the lead there at 173. All right, Adrian with that side A. I don't know if that was a, a back area or a forward aerial, but it was effective. You said look at the YouTube chat. Oh, you'll DM me and, and TikTok the trade? All right. Guys, also, if you're my friend on TikTok, like, if we both follow each other on TikTok, you can see a lot of my secret videos that, like, haven't seen the light of day. Like, I made a couple mistakes where I was like, oops, that was a mistake. Well, I'm just going to hide it to my friends. Um, also, I have some, like, silly videos that are, like, just really silly. I have one where I'm pretending to be uh, Pikachu and, and Charizard, and the Charizard's, like, about to beat up on the Pikachu. But the Pikachu's like, wait, you can't hit me. And the Charizard's like, what? It's like, I'm baby. Like, You're baby? What does that mean? Uh, I do have a Discord, guys. So make sure... Uh, he says, you don't have Discord. Oh, you said I can't... Oh, you're talking to someone else. Um, Some people can't join the Discord because they have... They're on like a... On like a, a Fire Tablet or something like that. You know what I mean? So because they're on a Fire Tablet, they can't use it. And they don't have like a phone. They're on a tablet. Two to the one and one to the three. Judging on what you will say. On what side of TikTok you're on? What? Adrian somehow won? What? Adrian wins again. Good game. GG's in the chat. Frog, please defeat Adrian. He's winning too much. He's too good.
Oh, your parents here is button mashing. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little uh, skull there because that, that's funny. Yeah, Trenton. Trenton trying to. Trenton was the closest to beating him. It is true. No one came as close as Trenton did. Go to bed, buddy. We ain't going anywhere. Period. Join my Discord and we'll play Smash in time. Also guys, if you're not my friend on Nintendo Switch, please make sure that we're friends on the Switch. Uh, send me a friend request. Uh, to do that, all you have to do is go to the, uh, up here in the profile on the upper left. Um, you can go to add a friend and then go to um, users you played with. And then from there you can see um, bunch of users that you played with and you can see if you're friends with them or not uh see look joe mcd we're not friends unable to send well i'll make sure to send these friend requests to people who are not my friend so that we can become friends um all right here we go Uh, if you don't have Discord, um... Oh, on Pokemon Go? Oh, okay, yeah, let me write that code down on my little piece of paper here. Uh, 8076. Uh, 5870-7192. Hey, uh, Poofles, is that, is that your name on, um, is Poofles also your name on TikTok? Or do you have a different name on TikTok? Alright, looks like it's one stock to one stock here. Frog with 56% damage. Ooh, loses her Luma. Luma comes back, but it takes a little bit to respawn. Pick a place, spamming the up B, and using that move again, trying to come back. Luma falls off again. Frog trying to make it back on. All right, Luma comes back. There it is. Ooh, getting caught up at the very corner of that hitbox. No! Pressing down, down at the wrong time. That was a big mistake. I saw that, Froggy. Froggy was actually turning the battle around and was about to start getting the momentum on Froggy's side. But slipped up near the edge, um, hesitated because of that charge move. Good game. But you know what? Can't give up like just like that. Can't give up. Alright, it's Pika Plays versus Joe McD. Joe McD's playing as uh, Lucario. 
Uh oh. Something's not right here. Is Joe awake? Oh, there we go. Yes, Joe's awake. I think we're gonna get close to um, getting ready for the um, gentlemen's match. Oh, Pokemon Trainer Poofles. Alright. Joe McD falls off the edge to the left. So we're going to do a few more matches here, and then we'll get ready for the gentlemen's matches. If we have more than four people, uh, we'll do two gentlemen's matches. Um, if we have eight people, um, then I won't uh, participate, and I'll just leave it to the seven left. If we have uh, seven or less, uh, I'll definitely participate in the gentlemen's matches. I really liked um, Adrian's uh, Joker. I really am, I'm looking forward to fighting that Joker more. I feel like I could really use um, a good Joker sparring partner because I need to get better at fighting Joker. And to tell you the truth, I don't really know much about Sephiroth either. Sephiroth is pretty dangerous. Alright, so if you're Joe McD, your character gets stronger the more damage it takes. Uh, so Lucario has a thing called Aura. And uh, your moves even get greater reach too. So you have a, a longer hitbox for, um, for example, your, your side special. Ooh, Joe's awakening his abilities. Up B, Joe. Up B. There you go, you got it. Wow. At one nine and nine. Joe making it back and doing some damage. Now, just so you know, this is when Lucario is the strongest, when he's in the red, but also the most vulnerable, just like anyone else when they're in the red. So, GG's in the chat. I saw you know, Joe transformed mid battle and became like the next level Lucario version of Joe. Right there at the end, I saw at the last stock, I saw Joe like shake it off and say, you know what? I got this and do way better. He leveled up right there for sure. You know what? You haven't really faced off against my big daddy link. Uh, I was saving my big, I was going to, I was going to use this link to fight Adrian. Cause I was like, I need a stronger sword. Uh, but I guess you're going to have to fight it now. He's my secondary.
All right, first stock gets taken. Oof. Ooh, nice. Ah, man, I couldn't beat it. Good game. I know I did say when somebody uses the same moves over and over again to try and overcome it, but it's not that easy sometimes. Good game. I think my problem with two is that I wasn't my main, so I think I'm actually gonna switch over to my main. The only reason I brought out Link was to fight um, Adrian, but he's not good against some other characters, so I'll have to bring my main back out again. Good game, Pika Place. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Joe McD. <laughs> you know what's really scary is that Adrian's back in the um, Adrian's back in the uh, in line.
You're like, I like Lucario, but I like Charizard. Yeah, they're both cool. Who won the battle? Ooh, Pika plays wins the battle. I brought my my main back out, so I'm back to being Young Link. All right, here it is, Pika plays versus Frog. Can anybody stop Pika plays? All right, here's Trenton. I think Trenton has gotten the closest to beating uh, Pika Plays. I guess aside from myself. <laughs> Trenton, how are you doing that? <laughs> Oops. Trenton gets the old one too. Pika plays, evening the score. Now it's three stock to two stocks. Pika plays has the lead, though at 101% damage. Yeah, Cole, I thought you said you were training for this. Where are you? You're like me, I can't. You're like, <laughs> can anybody stop Pick a Place? <laughs> He's a menace to society. He's too good. Some people call him cheap. But I call him the friend fighter. He fights for his friends. I call him the one who fights for his friends. Uh-oh, they're both down to two stocks now. They're the same amount of stocks. Trenton at 138, 149, and there it goes. Two stocks to one stocks. Pika Plays once again has the lead at 40% damage. Can he close the match? I like Pikachu. Actually, Pikachu is one of the top tier uh, characters in this game. Pichu also is one of the top tier characters in this game. So if anyone plays as Pikachu or Pichu, like, you could be super good. Man, this is crazy. Trenton's doing everything he can, and there it is. If that if this is Naruto, that would be his like uh Rus uh, uh Rasengan, because that's like his signature move. All right, who's next? You like <laughs> you fight for the Evergreen Army. <laughs> Who is next on the chopping block here? Pika Plays has reached five consecutive wins. I'm just literally reading what it says in the bottom left. It said uh, five wins in a row for Pika Plays. And I'm pretty sure Adrian had a similar run. But here's a rematch right here. Frog. Oh, no. 
This is dangerous frog. This is the frog that you don't want to see. You don't even want to see this frog on a bad day. It's Ice Climber's frog. Looks like someone has just joined. It's uh, it's actually Cole. Cole's been training for Smash. We'll see how Cole does. Probably in the lobby right now. Lobbying up. Alright, let's see what happens here. Pika plays! Oh. Wow. Frog takes the lead. Somebody actually takes the lead from Pika plays. And it's going to be Frog. Ooh, Frog thinking that you can roll behind him. That's a mistake a lot of people have been making is they think they can roll behind him and they can uh, dodge that attack, but they can't. The best thing to do is just to, uh, think, <laughs> what can you do? Jump straight up and make sure you don't get hit by the tippity top of the top part of it. Nice, double roll, two rolls. Oh, here comes the other ice climber. I was like, what's the word that they call that? Gimping. When you cause somebody to fall off the edge, it's called gimping them. Oh, you said, Professor, whenever I have free time in school, I always rewatch the streams. Oh, thank you so much, Adrian. I appreciate that. Guys, make sure to follow Adrian um, Santizo. A61. Oh, Santizoa? Adrian Santazoa, 61. This is a really even battle. They both have two stocks left. Ooh. Frog falls behind. At least I know what Frog was dealing with because I dealt the same thing as Adult Link. No, Adult Link is not my main. It's my secondary. What was that even? Big mistake. You're giving Frog hope. Now you've given Frog all the hope the Frog needs, Frog's gonna come back harder than ever. What have you done, Pika Plays? Pika Plays accidentally did one of that side special thing, like right off the edge. And unfortunately, like, while you can hit somebody, if you don't hit anybody, you just keep going and then you fly off the edge. All right, Pika plays, trying to figure out how to get around those specific moves. Frog with the rebuttal. Frog taking a slight lead here. Pika plays in the red. Oh, if only Pika plays hadn't fallen off and SD'd. It almost sounded like the crowd was saying, Pika plays, Pika plays, Pika plays. This is such a close battle. 114 to 102. 135 to 102. <gasps> Pika plays. Comes out on top at the very last second. With that forward tilt. I did not expect that. GG's in the chat. That's crazy. All right, here's the fight everyone's been waiting for. A champion versus a champion. Let's see who's gonna do it. Now, as we know last time, Adrian defeated Pika plays. What's gonna happen this time? You're the embodiment of Pikachu. Pikachu is literally one of the best characters in this game. If you look up any tier list, you'll see Pichu and Pikachu at the very top. They're like God tier. So if you want to if you want to find a good character to play as, play as Pikachu or play as Pichu. Ouch. All right, Adrian takes the advantage here with one stock.
Pika plays at 102% damage already. I'm not even sure how this damage was built up so fast. Adrian coming back. Pika plays. Better think of something. Not fall off the edge though. Oh no. Pika plays won't have that though. He's at least got to take one stock. It ain't going to be a three stock. Adrian being as nimble as a fox. Pika plays taking these wild, wild swings and there you go. That one connected and launched Adrian right off the map. Looks like it's a 2 to 1 here. We've seen some crazier comebacks in 2 to 1, so let's have it. I mean, this is it. You know, you're on your final stock. What can you do, right? You got to pull out all the stops, but you got to do. You got you got you got to experiment a little and you got to be safe at the right times. Cuz you're not like, you know, damaged behind. You're a whole stock behind. Ooh, gotta watch out for that counter. That counter might only be available when that creature is there. He's not, uh, he's not Joker from Persona. Um, he's like N with like a Shinigami or something from Death Note. Pika plays has figured something out. Pika plays has figured something out and is doing better now. But is it too late? Yes. A little too late. Pika plays was actually starting to figure out how to fight, but by that point, it was already in the red at the last stock. Maybe one more fight. And Pika plays and catch up a little bit. Alright, good game. My goodness. Well, guess what's gonna happen happen again? I'm about to fight Adrian as young Link. I, meant, I wanted to fight Adrian as Big Link, not Young Link. Why? Good game, Pika Plays. GG's, guys. At the end there, Pika Plays was figuring it out, but it was too late. <sighs> Alright, here we go. I'm starting to get it now. I took the first stock.
Ah. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Good game, Adrian. If if you look at my screen on on the um on YouTube, you'll see the tears in my eyes. You can see the tears in my eyes in YouTube. I showed it to you. I'm the one who had two stocks. You might have thought you had two stocks because I had two stocks. I two stocked you. That was a good game, Adrian. Oh, that was tough. Oh. Boy, that was rough. I literally fought as if, as if I was in a tournament. Good game. Oh no! Adrian, please don't do this to me. Don't use hero. Please don't use hero. I mean, yes, use hero. Show me your best hero, but seriously. I'm more scared of hero uh, than I am of... Uh, than I am of Joker. <laughs> Is anyone in here in the live? Yes, there's multiple people in the live. Thank you so much for everybody who's in the uh, YouTube live. If you want to see my tears after fighting Adrian, you can see it on the YouTube live. My problem is that when I'm when I'm like hyper focusing and I'm really trying to win, 
I um I don't blink. I don't have I have a problem where like I don't blink, so then my eyes get really watery if I'm like super competitive. Oh no! <laughs> I was off screen so I couldn't see where my landing was. <laughs> I couldn't see where my landing was. I totally fell. So Joe actually took a stock for me. This is my main. Adrian, just so you know, you did not fight my main the first time, you fought my secondary. When you fight my- oh, but you did fight my main. No, you did fight my main. You didn't fight my secondary. And since you had to fight my main again, I decided that I was like, I need to do everything in my power to win. Um, because it's a challenge for me as my main to win against someone that beat me. Like, if you want me to turn up, watch this. I'm gonna turn up right now. I'm gonna drink my, my I'm gonna drink my milk though. Oh, I drank a little bit. Good game. Good game. Just just a cup of Joe. Get get used to Pikachu, cause Pikachu is one of the best. You literally took a stock for me. Guys, I see coal in line. Alright, I think after one more Adrian fight, um, let's do the gentleman's match and then we'll call it a night. Because it's getting kind of late. It's later than usual. We just got really caught up in Super Smash Brothers. Get rid of this one first. Ooh, I thought that piece of ice was you. I chased you off the edge that time. That's an advanced technique, people. 
You have to chase them off the edge and still get them. It's hard to do it because it's really scary to go off the edge in the first place. But sometimes you can get them and still get back on. Ooh, I didn't know the red one hit that hard. Okay, we're pretty even here. That kick though, that neutral kick. If you're wondering what move I'm doing, every character has this move. See that move I'm doing? Every character has it. It's a neutral kick. It's your neutral A. And it's really powerful. It overrides a lot of other moves. So if you don't know how to get past the move, try your neutral A. That's all I'm doing in this battle right now is neutral A. Except for that forward A right there. There's two ways to do it. You can jump in the air and do kick and then down down. Kick down down. And do, when you press down down, you fall faster. You can do that with a move too. So, kick down down. Or you can press um, X and A at the same time and do a mini version. And go forward with it. Alright, I'm gonna have to do some other moves. Ooh, got rid of one of them. Oof. All right, here it is. One to one. One stock to one stock. This is it. This is where it gets serious. Conspirious. That's going to do it. 
Oh man, what a close last battle. Good game. Oh man, I'm, I'm like teary eyed for that one. If you want, I'm, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can see me crying. See? There's actual tears going down my eyes because I can't close my. I can't blink while I'm fighting sometimes. Good game. Good game, Froggy. Oh man. That was such a close battle. Now Pika plays. Oh, now it's time for Pika plays. Pika plays did beat my secondary. Which means I'm going to have to... Should Pika plays with me. Alright, two for two. And that is game for Pika Plays. You took a stock from me though, so that's good. If you take a stock, you good. I get sore in my eyes. My eyes will get sore. Good game. Alright, this will be the last match, and then we'll do a gentleman's match and call it a night. I'm pretty much going to lose here, because Hero is pretty much the most OP character that's ever existed. You just stay on your computer, though? Oh, okay, just a cup of joe. Thank you so much. We're going to be wrapping things up soon. After this match, we're going to do some gentleman's matches. So if you're not Donkey Kong right now, uh, change your character to Donkey Kong.
fell for that one. Ah, oh, that move though. It ain't over yet, Adrian. Ah, oh, nice. That's a perfect counter character to me because I can't use my um, projectiles when you have that um, that reflect thing on. All right, guys, it's time for the gentleman's match. Adrian got his revenge, and justly so. <laughs> All right, so guys, do not start the next battle. I need to change the game rules. In the meantime, change your character to Donkey Kong. Make sure your character is only Donkey Kong. If you don't know what a gentleman's match is, um, in the beginning of the match, um, you're not allowed to hit anybody until everybody has charged their DK punch. Um, Second, look at this. Uh, also, hold on a second. Uh, don't start the match yet. I guess you already started the match. All right. Well, I guess who gets top two stays. Bottom two have to watch the end. Make sure everybody charges their DK punch one time. I'm going to be the silverback gorilla. Alright, so I, I don't really know what's going on in this battle here. Just make sure the next match, everybody presses B and charges their DK punch and then fights. That's the whole point of a gentleman's match, is to not start fighting right away. To charge your, your, uh, your DK punch and then start fighting. You only do that in the very beginning of the battle though. So, top two stay, bottom two go. For the final gentleman's. And there were four left. It is late at night. One more fight to go. We'll call it a day. Thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. Hey, I think I, I spot an Eevee. I better get my Pokeball out. <laughs> I'm going to try and catch this Eevee real quick.
Oh, I wonder what else she has from yours. <laughs> Probably a lot of stuff. All right, and the winners are the first and second place will be Adrian and Cole. If you did not win, still hang around, watch the match. Also, with the gentlemen's match, it doesn't matter whether you win or lose because it's Donkey Kong, right? Like, seriously, who plays as Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong actually, somebody actually won uh, a tournament before COVID with Donkey Kong, and everybody was like, what just happened? Like, it was a physical tournament, it was an actual real thing for money. It was crazy. Everybody, don't hit each other. Don't hit each other. Press your DK punch. Guys, guys, guys. Stop, stop, stop. Stop hitting each other, guys. Just press your DK punch. Charge your DK punch and that's all. Joe McD, stop doing that. Charge your DK punch. Okay. Alright, go. Fight. Go ahead, fight. Oh, dang. Now, just so you guys know, um, DK is the king of Meteor Smashes. I think he has three different moves that can Meteor Smash. And if you don't know what a Meteor Smash is, it's when you get uh, spiked. But you get spiked straight downwards, though. Would be high-fiving. Jeez, Louise. Everybody get Adrian. <laughs> Everybody get Adrian. <laughs> He's too good. Get him. He's got two lives. He's got two monkey lives. <laughs> no. DK is too strong. Ah. Guys, get Adrian. We all have one life left. And the winner of the gentlemen's is Adrian. Good game, Adrian. <laughs> I told you guys to get him. Oh, he got four of us. Nice. Good games. Um, I would like to do more, guys. But that is it for tonight. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you want to hang out a little bit more, uh, make sure you, ch you check out the Discord, right? Check out the Discord. Get on the Discord. Uh, if you can't get on the Discord, then uh, leave as many comments as you can on the TikToks on uh, YouTube. And I will comment back if you want to send a message to me. My DMs are open. You guys, take care. Have a good night. Pika Plays, you did amazingly. Uh, you did too, Adrian. Uh, I always stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. All right, so my next stream is going to be 7:30 p.m. Then after that, it'll be 5 p.m. on Saturday. So Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Usually it's 5 p.m. every day, but for right now, Thursdays are at 7:30 um, Eastern Standard Time. So that's all I got for you. You guys take care. Um, Till next time, if you want to chat a little bit longer, I'm going to go ahead and leave the YouTube at the um, ending screen in the meantime you guys uh, take care yes keep practicing keep playing and um, hit me up we'll, we'll, we can game all right so yeah stay safe out there guys until next time keep having a champion time <laughs>